because now I got to search for you. Because right, I don't... we have pressed the button. I think we may be alive. We are live. Looking at that, we are live. So yes, we are. Are we? I feel dead. <laughs> yeah, I, I said live, not alive. Lee, uh, Lee. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but I think we are alive because we're all three on the screen at one time, unless we're using some sort of a. I'm a ghost. F yeah, futuristic software or something where I can actually talk to you, even though you're not actually alive. Isn't that freaky? Eh? Anyway, guys, uh, welcome to everyone in chat. Nice to see you all again for the show. Just uh, me, Lethal and Goober at the moment. Uh, as ever, um, the other lads a little bit late. Uh, not quite sure when they'll be turning up. Vix uh, may have some guests around tonight, but he did say he would try and pop on, but he wasn't sure what time they'll be around or anything like that. So vaping with Vic should hopefully be on. He did uh, say earlier on he would try and do that. So Mark should be on as well and as uh, Sean as well. But Sean said it will be later on if he can do it. Uh, but anyway, evening chat. It's uh, give a few of them a few shout outs, shall we? Like I normally do. Just say hello to my wonderful subscribers. So we got Simon Bridgewood. JP Vape Reviews there. Let's go from the top, shall we? Guba, what's up, buddy? What's up? <laughs> Vaping noob. Sergeant Taco. I said it right today, Lethal. Sergeant Taco. We've got uh, MF Ape in the house. What's up, brother? Rob Bryan. Uh, Rob Clark. Is this the same people? Shane Gibson. Simon Bridgewood. What's up, buddy? Manic Stereo. Neil Cousins. Evening guy. Pee Wee B, Stuart, Matt Benson, Rob Bryan, I think I've already said it, but I can't remember actually. No, that was Rob Clark, wasn't it? What's up, Rob Bryan? Mark, uh, Josh, what's up, buddy? Horsham Heating, evening all. Jake, nice one, brother. Phoenix Vapes, what's up, buddy? Curly Chew, Pav G, and Jonathan Redmondo, the great Ray Mondo. I was watching Only Fools and Horses last night. To, the UK, mm -hmm. uh, do you watch that in America? You probably haven't seen it, have you? The UK mm -hmm. show from like the 80s and 90s. What's the name of it again? Only Fools and Horses with Del Boy and Rodney. I've, I've heard of it. Yeah. I've heard of it. And the great Ray Mondo was on it last night. So it mm -hmm. just reminded me of it for some reason, Jonathan Redmond. But, <laughs> anyway, I just want to say that Jazz UK, <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen Axel Rose lately, but uh, <laughs> I'm, not big. I'm not that big. Are you a fat bastard? <laughs> no, he is. He oh, is. he is as well. Oh, yeah, he got fat. David Chaston, what's up, buddy? Right, let's say hello to my uh, panellists then. So, first of all, we're going to go to Mr. Goober Vapes because he was in chat first tonight. So, he gets first dibs on his buffet tonight. What are you on, mate? I am actually on three, even though I forgot to juice up the other one um, <laughs> got my lyra mod with the goat oh the lyra oh i've got one of those man lovely mod um and that i got summer holidays which is a black orange crush what's that like a black blackberry or something in there is it as um, well as orange black current and orange i think all right it sounds interesting two strong flavors there um I got the Crown 4 on top of the Twist and Mrs. TM-150. What's that? Which I actually got them mixed up. That actually has the uh, black orange rush. Is that a Twist and Mrs. mod you got there? Yeah. Where'd you One get that from, then? Though. I got it from a coworker. Um, oh, right. The goat Dead Man's Arm in it. That then I got qu quite uh, sweet, that mod, then. Snowwolf M Fang, the Black Recoil Rebel, and that's got a nice. Ultimate Juice Deep Purple, which is a black current and I think grape. Sounds nice. I'd like that one. I reckon. They're actually so, both pretty good. How are you doing anyway, uh, Goobs? You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good today. Yeah, work going all right. 
Yeah, it was an interesting day yesterday. It was nice and easy, smooth. Yeah? It wasn't too bad. That's nice when it goes like that, isn't it? No, nothing went wrong or anything, though? No, really. No bosses shouting at you or anything like that? No. <laughs> That was kind of earlier in the week, but I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, Nothing away. better, is it, than being shouted at by your boss? But, mm. um, anyway, that sounds like you're doing well then, bud. So good to see you, as always, Goop. So let's go on to my second guest, which is Mr. Lethal Vape Crew. Is it Mr. Lethal Vape Crew? It is on his Facebook group anyway, so I've just given yep. that a plug anyway. So. Lethal Vape Crew. That's right. That's the Lethal Vape Crew on my group page there. How are you doing, Christopher? I'm doing, man. I'm doing a bit stressed, a bit tired, but I'm good. You're, I'm good. You're on um, SNL now, man, so we can relax for a couple of hours and just that's right. Just let let that uh, negativity brush off your shoulders, and we can. <laughs> no, I can't do it, buddy. <laughs> you gotta laugh, brother. No. What are you vaping on, man? <laughs> at the moment, I've got a few setups that I haven't had running in a while. Um, I've got the black V God. Uh, I believe that's the Pro Mac One with yeah. the uh, recoil, the original recoil on OG. top. OG. Yeah, the OG. Oop. Evening, Mark. Yeah. Nature Vape. What's up, Nature um, Vape? Thanks, Nature Vape. How are you? What's um, up, Mark? What's up, dog? We got the Black Rage, which my lighting Ooh. sucks. There we go. The oh. Black Rage with the Twisted Messes TM24 Pro on top there. Very nice new, new RDA. I like it. I like that Rage in Black. It's good, actually, isn't it? Thank you. I think it's sexy. Um, <laughs> we got the That's Stainless bad. Dreamer Ooh, mech. Another sexy little mod. Other new, new. Ooh. Got that BTFC going. That looks nice in stainless, that BTFC, doesn't it? Oh, it does. It really it does. Looks, That's the nice. best color I've seen. Sharp looking combo right there. I like yeah. that. Uh, and we've also got some old, old, some throwback uh, going on tonight. Once I can get that cap back on there, you know what? It doesn't matter. We got that Plume Veil 1.5, if it will focus. That's a blast Which, from the past. Of course, isn't it? Not, you fucking Logitech. Hey, look, there it is. Plume Veil 1.5. <laughs> he was having this problem earlier on as well. On the old, uh, <laughs> the old. Asmodus Snow Wolf 200 watt. Nice. Yeah. So we got a, a little bit of a retro. Yeah. Uh, you can't beat a bit of retro, mate. They look better, don't they? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. We've also got the uh, styled with it. the Equitas on there. Uh, right. You're not going to say the, what the start is. We can read that. Uh, yeah. the, the styled is the, the truck from p mods prick mods sorry yep yeah there we go <laughs> there we go um and i also got that drag with the Hellbeast rta and i just polished this one up got the mongrel v2 oh yeah Ooh, that's nice and shiny with the uh very nice and patinaed <laughs> brass cap <laughs> on the uh dead rabbit all oh, right Oh, yeah. You've, what's your name? Mike Vapes tonight. <laughs> yeah, I've really. From mouth to lung, we've got the me one. Oh, yeah, you got another thing as well. You're doing well there tonight, yeah. bud. Dude, I can't even tell you. I went to go clean off my nightstand from uh, after the evening this morning, and I realized I had five vapes on my nightstand for when I go to bed. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, wow, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, I quite often have about four or five on the go as well by the bedside table. All right, yeah. cheers, cheers for that, brother. I just want to say hello to a few more who've just come in. Ingvar, what's up, buddy? Uh, Mark Benson, Hola, gents. Thank you, buddy. Annie Summerfield. All right, they're having a little private chat now. He's talking about bull bastards. Uh, we've got Pav G in the house. What's up, mate? Stuart. We've already said hello to Nature Vape. And who else have we got in there? Chris Burns. Chris Burns. What's up, bud? And Ants in the eyes nice to see you guys right so are you doing okay then chris apart from feeling knackered and um not oh, of course uh, not you're doing all right now yeah oh of course absolutely at least you've got a nice bit of kit in there mate so i'm expecting a few reviews then oh yes most certainly when you that's can... gonna happen i've already been uh setting up to 
start doing some top downs. Top downs, that sounds interesting. Mm. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Not safe for YouTube. No. Right, that's Damn. cool then. Right, Vapors Vault. Bloody hell, Tam, how are you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Right, let's show you what I'm on. Right. I didn't do any reviews on the channel this week, but I did do two on VapeTube, which were the JK clone and the uh, Fatality styled, I should say. And they're both on my VapeTube channel. If you want to check them out and you're into your your styled atties, which uh, cost about four or five times less than the authentics, go and check it out over on VapeTube. Four so or five times anyway, and I've also... I haven't been sent um, anything or I didn't have anything coming in. I thought it was, but I didn't get anything in as yet. So I'm hoping to get out a couple of retro reviews. We've got the OBS Engine Nano, which is a single core RTA, on top of the EOS 2 by Asmodus and uh, Ultrona. And yeah, I'm. this is a fucking awesome tank, this uh, OBS Engine Nano. It's. Um, I'm going to do a little comparison against the likes of the Wasp Nano, the CPRTA. And, um, yeah, interesting to see what sort of difference there is, uh, because that's about two years old, at least the Engine Nano now, I believe. Right, I'll leave that one to last, actually, because I want to give him a little bit of a shout-out. We've also got the Peerless RDA here, Geek Vape. Do you remember this one? This is the special edition stainless steel one, full stainless. Got it on top of the double barrel version 2.1, Army Green version and another, I'm going to do this as a retro review as well to be honest it's really good flavour you can't really fault it smooth airflow <laughs> so we've got that we also have another retro here the uh, Troll RTA this is by Watofo and we've got it sitting on top of the H Cigar Wild Wolf dual cord RTA and I love this. This used to be my go-to tank for about a year. And I thought I'd wick it up again. And it still tastes pretty darn good. So we have that. We've also got a bit of a mouth to lung action. We have the uh, Wake Modco Littlefoot RTA, which is a mouth to lunger. We've got it on top of the Artery Nugget version 2. My silver one's finally packed up, which I'm a bit pissed off about. But we've still got the black one that's going, the internal LiPo 1500 mAh battery in that. We've also got the Wasp Nano RTA. The review has just been done on the channel for this. On top of the Nunchaku by Uwell. And nice little combo, actually, for like 40 watts. With a, it's only got an 18650, and that's the only trouble with the Nunchaku. But uh, last but not least, we have... Something a little bit special. This is another styled couple of items here that um, I've uh, purchased from Mark at Nature Vape, who is in chat. I think he's in chat, but he might. He sometimes watches the rerun tomorrow. But we have the the Stratum uh, MOSFET tube here, which is a styled atty, and fucking awesome. It takes a twenty one seven hundred, twenty seven hundred, or eighteen six fifty. We've got the K Fun light styled rta by yftk on the top and the good thing with this little mod is you can take the top cap off and put it because this is obviously a 22 millimeter atty and there you can see the board we've got the chip there and the mosfet doing its business and you can screw this little beauty cap on to make it into a 24 mil so then if i get you the the peerless, for example, uh, we can now screw this on there, and it uh, it goes on perfectly, which nice. looks pretty yeah. sick as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh, you can get these from Nature Vape. That's where I purchased it from. So go check out the Stratum styled um, uh, MOSFET tube. So it's basically got a side firing bar a bar on it as well. If you look. Can you quite see it? Yeah, I can see it. Just there, there's a little sort of nailed bit. You push in. It's like the old, um, what's that one called? The slam piece. Slam. Yeah, it's a it's a reversed. It's upside down from what the slam piece design yeah, is. Yeah, this one you just push inwards and you can yep, just feel. So you just feel round because it's slightly rough where the stratums are uh, written. So, Engraving. Yeah, but it's nice. That it's not rough as in rough. It's just you can feel it. So if you're like driving along, for example, you just go round to you can feel that and you can feel the nailed section. But 
don't drip and drive. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> vape and drive. But yeah, this cracking. And um, I'm going to take the peer this off actually because um, it's better for a mouth to lung this um, this tube really. I haven't really tested it out. I need to try it with a proper build um, because it basically is like a mech, isn't it? It's got the you've got no variable voltage or anything, but it, it's working. Oh, Mike. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just got the announcement a little while ago, and Ronnie Campbell just put it in the chat. But just to let you know, Pud Puffs Emily. Oh right. Today. Fucking hell! Big love, Pud Puffs. Really happy for Pud you. Puffs. For that. Congratulations. Nice one, buddy. If you do watch this later on. Cheers for that, Chris. There's what I want to just carry on though from Nature Vape well, because he has. I purchased these items for him. What else did I get? I got the zoo set. I got the zoo sex, but he sent the wrong thing over, so he's got to post it on Tuesday. But we so have I'm got playing. something in which I want to show you because it's um, Mark's given me this to review. This it's basically blackjack um, concentrate. It says okay. nature vape on there, but I think it's called uh, fucking is it Jack Rabbit? I think who makes it. But, That's uh, what I thought. Yeah. Um, Basically, he gives you like the, the bottle of juice, which is 30 millimeters, milliliters, and then you get this little t table here so you can mix your own juice up. But it's you can, it gives you like the Nick shots as well, comes in with the, the package, and it's got the table so you can put your required nicotine strength and all that malarkey. And oh, uh, nice. I think you can get the actual uh, VG and PG with it, but I obviously he knows I've got a load anyway, so he didn't give that that to me. But uh, yeah, so I think it's on the website already. But anyone in chat who wants to check it out, check out Nature Vape site. If you're new to DIYing or you haven't done it before, this could be the ideal start because it's you know it's just especially if you're just putting the nick shots in, you don't really need to like piss about um you know with really fine measurements of your um nicotine if you've got this 72 milligram stuff if you're not if you're new to it you don't really want to be fussing around with that so if you want to just check it out i've got the blackjack version here which is basically the old sweets that we have in the uk that penny chews basically and uh, they taste like anise but i used to love them as a kid so when mark said oh he's got you're about black licorice yeah it's lovely um it's but i've tried it today i mixed it up and you can vape it already there's no steeping time got it in yeah. the ed zachary it's called ed zachary on mark's website which is basically the the style version of the the k fun light ed, ed zachary lights he's called it on there and the good thing about this tank it hasn't got any markings at all there's no no uh spomisto all of that no branding no yeah. branding whatsoever which i love on a uh, style type uh, device so all of that can be found on nature vape mark's a really top bloke he's good customer service i ordered it on thursday and it came uh, this morning and yesterday was a bank holiday so that's pretty good delivery uh, literally the day after so that's awesome so yeah that uh, completes my uh, buffet guys it's quite the buffet yeah not like mine though jesus yeah you got some good um Good bit of a selection going on there, man. Philly Vape, J Money, what's up? What can I say? I like um, I like options. Yeah, man. If you're anything like me, you like a bit of variety as well. Then mm. I'm just sticking with the same device or tank. Exactly. And it helps to keep flavors. Cool. Fresh. Okay, welcome. What's up, Cole? Uh, Ryan? You what, Leaf? It helps to keep the flavors what, man? Keeps the uh, flavors fresh in your mouth. You don't go tongue blind yeah. to any one. Yeah, flavor. especially if you put different flavors in each tank. Yeah. Right. But yeah, that blackjack's actually quite nice because I was thinking that's going to have to be good to replicate it properly because, do you know what I mean? Aniseed's quite a strong flavor, isn't it? But it's actually got just the right amount of sweetness as well. It does. It does taste bloody good to me because I don't like overly sweet vapes as well. Right. Getting on with that though. It'll be even better after a week or two's worth of steeping as well. Yeah. And Pav G, you're right. That is terrible news about what happened uh, with Jay Hayes. But um, it is terrible news. Yeah. I was going to get onto that because I did put a link in underneath the description 
of the video for the GoFundMe page that uh, Bree set up for, for, for mm. anyone who doesn't uh, know. Jay Hayes is a fellow US reviewer. And unfortunately, his daughter committed suicide uh, a couple of days ago, and it, which is a, an absolute tragedy. And there was a GoFundMe page set up to, uh, to basically help out with the, the funeral costs because this is an unexpected thing to happen. And they've right. reached their target of 15K, but Jay did an update on the GoFundMe page yesterday and said that his wife, uh, ex-wife, I should say, said that it's going to be around 20K instead. But the GoFundMe page won't accept any further donations because I put the link in there earlier thinking it was still going because it was on about 13.5K when I last looked. Right. But you can't go over the top. So the actual... Once uh, they hit their limit of what they were asking Yeah, so for. I'm not quite sure what's... Um, going after uh, over after that but anyway but um yeah they've done pretty well anyway in the last 24 hours to get that total and i'm sure that um that they will do um their best to get the other 5k as well but it's an awful tragedy i did um I did. give i gave jay a message earlier i messaged him on instagram i wasn't expecting a reply but i did say if he because i've noticed he's gone live yesterday and the day before as well he did it's dealing with it in his own way and he had his two sons on there yesterday did you watch it goo they were his yeah. sons i think weren't they yep and i just thought if he because i don't know from what he was saying now i don't know if he thinks that uk reviewers and folk like him and i i just said to him in a uh, email today that um, I'm doing a show tonight. He's welcome to pop on if he does want to have a chat or anything, just to show that the UK uh, public do give a fuck, basically, and we do care and we all support him through this terrible time. So I wasn't expecting a reply, but um, I thought I would do it anyway because, I, 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 you know, we lots of people have got opinions about him, but at the end of the day, no one deserves that to happen to them and i think he's he's generally a, a good bloke at heart anyway do you know what i mean whatever he's done in the past it's um whatever it's all like for the camera a lot of it isn't it so but yeah. anyway yeah horrible news and jay if you are watching a big love and i hope you um can get through this and jay. stay strong brother yeah but yeah not very nice wasn't it i wasn't expecting that a couple of days ago when lisa said in bed oh about what oh, happened says goob's got a hair trim kept the stash yeah he has yes i got a haircut guys i could doesn't do look like a pop filter as much anymore <laughs> you can't see it because his background's black <laughs> just looks like a forehead yeah <laughs> mine's oh. going gray you big star i need to have mine cut again he's gonna turn it off for a second What's up, Trigger Vapes? Let's see what's been going on in chat when I've been talking. Pav G, yeah, condolences to Jay and his family. Ask some Pav. WGD Vapes, different options. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. We can see your head now. Matt Benson's just saying about best e sig liquid, best sig liquid. Right. What else have you got? Yeah, so they do come in some other flavours as well. I've forgotten what they are. I think it's rhubarb and custard, strawberry and custard, and another one. But I chose blackjack because I like my uh, sort of fruity vapes normally. I don't really like desserts. What else have we got going on? <laughs> Hello, Rick. The Weather Channel. <laughs> Mike looks about 15 beardless. Uh, yeah, 15 with mega grey hair. Yeah, I have. Google. I've got this. I've got a bit of stubble. This has grown since last week. That's how bad it is. That's how long it takes me these days. It's a little scruff. Not yeah. wrong with it. I Goober, think... are you going to give us the uh, the nightly traffic report? <laughs> what on the Golden Gate Bridge? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> um, Stuart, no, because I do not want, want my wife to kill me. Thank you very much. I'd do it anyway. But make it a Hooters backdrop, Goober. Actually, uh, the don't nightly do report that. on the Golden Gate Bridge <laughs> is it's closed. So find another way across. <laughs> There's your nightly report. Right, okay. right, chat. Anyone who's just joining us, um, we should be getting Mark uh, 
vaping with Vic and Sean at some point, but I'm not sure exactly when because Vic did tell me he may have visitors around, and he, but he did say he was going to pop in. So hopefully that will be at, at some point. Mark, who knows with Mark, he did say he would try and get in there. And Sean said he, he would try as well, but it might be a little bit late. So at the moment, we've just got us three, but um, <laughs> at least we can hear Goober speak when it's just us three. So... Go Go away. Away. It's like Cleveland Brown from Family Guy. <laughs> from Only <there>. white. <laughs> oh man. Call that stubble, mate. It's yeah, it's not coming out too well. I don't mind anyway. It just um Horsham right. Heating. We have that stuff over here in the US, but we call it Pop Rocks. D E, how it, much ML of liquids do you go through through per day? Not too much, actually. To be honest, especially when I'm rabbiting, you don't tend to vape a lot. Um, mouth to lung, I'll probably do about two mil, maybe, maybe top it up again. Uh, depends what I'm doing, really. Um, that's not it. My normal th three milligram stuff, I might do. It depends what I'm doing. If I'm doing reviews, I'll go through loads when I'm doing my recording. On a general day, I'll probably do about 10 or 20 mil on the, uh, well, actually, it depends what I'm vaping on. If I'm doing a fatality, you're going through like five mil every 20 minutes. So it depends, doesn't it? Depends what you're on. But at the moment, like I say, I've got the OBS engine. That's not particularly that thirsty. I'd say about 20 mil a day. But if I'm recording or whatever, I might go through a lot more. 30, like tonight, I'll probably go th through a bit more. Me, it all depends if I'm working. If I'm working, maybe five to ten. Yeah. Like on the weekends, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, maybe 30. Yeah, everyone in chat, if you could put what you um, vape as well. Neil Cousins has put 20 mil for him. I think that's about average for a lot of us. What about you, uh, Lethal? I cannot. I work in a uh, manufacturing plant, so we can't even vape on property. Yeah, I, I can't vape. I have to go outside to vape. I'm, I'm allowed two like four minute vape breaks a day and then you can go out at lunchtime as well but... yeah we actually have to go off the property off the actual site completely yeah that's taking the piss isn't it if i had to total up amongst all of the devices that i use i'd say i go through probably somewhere around 40 maybe 50 milliliters yeah you drip a lot do you chris Mm, and I vape a lot too. Yeah, that's it. If you're not at work and you can do it at home, uh, you can do it a lot more. Can't you? When I'm off, like today, I've been vaping. You vape continuously, don't you? Basically, yep. Because yep. that's I a always have something with me. Always. That's the good thing about vaping over smoking. Because I, when I used to smoke, I when I had a fag, I used to think that's horrible, and I wouldn't want one until I next started craving. Because I only had about fifteen, twenty a day, depending on whether I was drinking but on a normal day it was probably more like five to ten mm. um which i cut down to towards the end but it's not with vaping i just love it <laughs> that's the trouble i can just vape especially with the different flavors you get if you get a nice flavor it's just it's just relaxing i find is that what you think chris good absolutely Sorry, my wife's being weird right now so i didn't hear what you said do you find vaping relaxing rather than like smoking used to be like horrible? Oh, yeah. Yep. Definitely. I can sit there watching a movie, you know, grab my vape. Love it. Yeah, exactly. I could sit there in front of a, a bonfire with my vape and be perfectly happy. <laughs> yeah, getting more f chemicals off the bonfire than you are from the actual vape as well, which is awesome. Makes playing games. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, WGD? G cast is like a nan's clock. <laughs> I've just filled my Steve Crave Titan for the third time today, and it's shorty mode, 18 mils. It only turned up about midday. Yeah, it depends what you're vaping, obviously. Like the Fatality and the Glass V2 is a thirsty bugger. I need to whip that up again as well because I do miss that. The awesome flavour, the Glass V2. Check out the review on the channel, guys, if you haven't seen it already. 
Yes, what's everyone else vaping in chat then? We haven't asked that, and then I can miss most of it, and we'll probably talk over it. But uh, if you <laughs> if you want to put it in there, like we might pick on one or two of them. Oh, they were picking on me there for a minute. What were they saying? Uh, shit, I can't even remember. <laughs> I was coming up with some t-shirt ideas er, uh, earlier this week. Oh yeah, I saw a couple of them. Paul Martin put that one of you with the um. I can't remember what it was now, but it cracked me up. What, was it? What did he do? He had a picture of you, but the, oh no, I went in repeat it on there. Let's not talk <laughs> about Jewel. Let's, let's not talk about Jewel. Yeah. Oh man, Manix got the Honestly, I haven't even used my Jewel since I did a review on it a long, long time ago. I don't even know where the charger is for it, let alone the packaging. I think I threw it out by accident. What's mm. it actually like? Is it just like a... Because some pods are not too bad, but I'm, I'm not an avid fan of pods. Not usually. Compared to my Mi Pod, I prefer my Mi Pod. Yeah, it's a over. looser vape, isn't it? Much looser. You can put different juices, more flavorful. I would say the Jewel, it's more of a hit than a flavor. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not even a hit if you buy it in the UK because you can only get it in 20 milligrams, which is crap. Mm. 20 milligram Nick salts or whatever. Yeah, I think the most I have is 30 something Nick salt. 36. Yeah, I expect that would be okay to use. I'm actually uh, afraid to do these next two juice reviews because they're both Nick salts and they're both 50 milligram. Ouch. Yeah, so I'm a little uh little afraid to do these next ones. Actually, I've been Nick sick before. I don't need to do that again. Yeah, you, that, you just two I just did. I just need to edit and post them. Just need to make sure you don't have too many drags to leave. Yeah. I, I had a Nick out the other day doing the Glass V2 at 140 watts because I was just, you know, when you're sort of doing the chaining to show the, the wicked. I was like, fucking hell, I've got to put it down. And that's on three milligrams. <laughs> that's how I was with the Jewel, because I only vaped it, like, I think eight times, and by then, I'll, at the end, I was like... Yeah, because oh. you don't know, do you? And especially with the Nick Salts, uh, you can have it, and it doesn't really feel like anything's happening until afterwards, or about ten seconds later. And then right. you, like, get, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not a great fan of Nick Salts, really. It's all right, but it's um, I don't like that uncertainty afterwards. I like to just vape it and think, yeah, I know I can feel the hit straight away. <laughs> um, yeah. Trigger Babes has got a question and sense for you, MF, I think. Uh, yeah. Where getting old. Um... <laughs> because he's old. I'm <laughs> getting old, not as old as MF yet, but getting there. What's your thoughts about... The Subida, thinking of trying it for my arthritis. Um, I have tried it. I think Chunkmeister gave us a couple of bottles last ex expo. Um, yeah, uh, lots of people who do suffer from uh, pain conditions uh, swear by it. So for me, it maybe it didn't do a lot. I used to smoke the other stuff as well when I was younger. So compared with that, it was nothing. It didn't do nothing for me. But for the people who tried it and they do have like chronic conditions pain conditions they they say it relaxes them it does help with the pain so it's worth checking out if you've got anything like that uh, any sort of condition and you want some pain relief it's um, worth giving it a shot anyway so i think it's a probably a good thing to to try out well it helps with um others too anxiety things yeah like that. sleep and uh, insomnia and stuff like that no unicron no 50 milligram Nick salts and a dripper with aliens, absolutely not going to happen. 100% not going to happen. <laughs> Same here, MFA, kind of miss it. No, I don't really miss it anymore. I've gone past that stage. It was, um, you know, just been and gone. I, I quite enjoy just having a vape now. I don't miss anything else. Don't need anything stronger. Mm. Kevin Smith's going, Ugh. meltdown face or something. Right, Jad, is the true MTL still the best MTL RTA? You got the Berserker, not the Mini, and looking for something with better flavour. Is that a question for everyone? Um, 
nature babes um, in chat, so I better say the right thing. <laughs> he designed the, the truth. I don't, mind, I don't mind a mouth to lung. I've, I've got, to be honest, um, the true was a little bit restrictive for me, but I'm not a true mouth to lung vapor. I like a, a looser mouth to lung. Uh, so for me, I like the, the gate RTR quite like to That is a little bit restrictive as well, but this little foot really like reviewed it on the channel this has got a slightly looser draw and also the one that came in today this k fun light i'm really getting on with the draw on this it's a cracking hit i'm getting admittedly i've only tried it with that new liquid so i don't know what it's like with my favorite juice that i normally use i've just put a brand new flavor in it just because of the fact that it came in t today but it tastes really good this uh exactly light that you can get on nature vapes website check it out i think it's awesome i probably will do a review but it's going to be a vape tube only only one uh in the next couple of weeks or so but yeah there's lots of decent mtls out there it's all a matter of opinion i thought the true was really good but it's a little bit too not not my style of vape so there you go Stuart, btfc review next week probably and to the English trifle, I say it's good. It's a little awkward for me because I haven't actually eaten an English trifle before. I've never had one. So it's hard for me to tell whether it's an accurate representation or not. But it's good. Mark Nature Vape. I do like that juice as well from Jack Rabbit. Um, that's definitely getting a thumbs up from me. I'm quite a, a particular about juices as well. But yeah, it's just the right amount of sweetness. So yeah, I'll be interesting to see what the other ones are like because they like do you, you like your custardy vapes, don't you, Lethal? Oh, of course I do. I think I love them. One of them, some... rhubarb and custard. He's got. I I've heard of it, and I want to try it so bad. And uh, strawberry and custard was the other. And there's one more flavour, and I can't remember for the life of me what it is. Can Mark and chat nature vape. Tell us what that fourth flavor is from Jack Rabbit Vapes that you told me about. Ants in the eyes. This cave, I must admit, I've only had it today, mate. The draw I'm getting on this, I love it. I seriously do. Two minutes. Trigger Vapes, you are missing out. It is fun. It's a safe place for vapors. Yep. So definitely go on. Vape yeah definitely do it and subscribe to all of us on here uh because i've got um styled reviews over there clones basically and they're only on uh my vape tube channel so if you want to check out the likes of the ed zachary and the fatality the jk uh, i've got them both up there this week so to so please subscribe and check it out because i need some more views over there because the trouble is there's not enough people watching vape tube even like vaping with vic We've got Batman. There's loads of us all over here, Lethal, Goober. But the, the amount of views that people are getting is not many at all, like 40 or 50 views if you're lucky. So it'd be good if more people could go over there. I think they're having a few teething problems. People have been saying they're getting buffering videos and stuff, which isn't ideal, but it is a work in progress. But it's worth checking out because the quality is quite good. If you can get it to work, I thought it's pretty crisp, uh, Marcel. Why not, Cron? Why can't I call it a safe space? <laughs> what's wrong what's, with that? what's that vape shit? yeah and they haven't got so many big brother anal rules so you can uh put uh the odd clone video over there which is good because um if people don't realize that youtube don't take kindly to doing things like that they don't like vaping as a whole really oh hint the shrimp why are you putting that in there whatever what he's had to go through yeah, it? Shrimp. no need for that like i said if you haven't got the compassion that from what's just happened to him i can't believe you're even writing something like that whatever he's uh, you think of him it's probably best to keep it to yourself there's no need for that sort of um drama in this show because i'm not uh, slagging anyone off i timed him out he has commented on a lot of my videos, but he doesn't normally put things like that. So if someone's just saying ban him, I'm hoping he just listens to what I say and he might think about it instead. 
Because if it was something that just happened to you, I think you'd have a little bit of a, a different uh, attitude on it, Hint the Shrimp. Dusty Fingers, they are working on an app as well as live. They're just trying to make sure it's solid, I think, before releasing it. There's advertising on VapeTube as well, though, Neil Cousins. Uh, you have to watch a 10-second video before you can skip over there. Unfortunately, to run these platforms, like uh, Mike, the bloke who first set it up, um, he put 30 grand of his own money into it, and he's probably put a lot more into it now. They've obviously got a few more investors involved now. I think Empire's gone over there. He's one of the directors as well. But um, you need to get your money from somewhere, like with everything in life. Uh, so... You can't just expect to watch it all for free because people need um, uh, paying, basically. You know, that's what, uh, unfortunately, that's what the market economy is all about, isn't it? Capitalism. Uh, yeah, Optim Opium Vapes asking if you're going to Expo. Yes, yeah, so I am going to Expo Optimum Vapes. I'll be there from Thursday to Sunday. So if you are going say hello to me like i say guy anyone who's in chat you see me over there i'll be mostly probably at the bar come and say hello we can have a drink together or whatever have a chat and uh yeah i'd be most welcoming to anyone who wants to come over and say hello there'll be loads of us there we've got tvp we've got mbk vapor we've got loads of the uk reviewers uh tbd vaping with vic empire dean the devil vapor um there's loads of us i can't think of them all now but um yeah just if you see one of us just say hello because we won't bite your head off hey, IVC. what's up IV ivc shane i hear mike's buying <laughs> for all i think you're buying me a pint uh instead actually <laughs> If you're buying all your subscribers a pint, um, I've got enough money to do that. <laughs> quite a penny. That's going to cost me a few, yeah. Knight will be mostly drunk most of the weekend, especially if he's with TVP. Uh, I'm a little bit merry, Andy. I don't get that drunk. What's the matter with you? It is a good. You see Mike at Expo give you a smack on the ass. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. What's up, Shane Foster? Where's the rest of them? You tell me. I invite them on and they turn up when they feel like it. Now, Vic said he would be probably a little bit late because he's got folks over. He's, it's Easter weekend, guys, so people are going to be busy tonight. But I can always count on Goober and Lethal to be here on time, so big love to those brothers. Mark and Sean said they should be in later on. Uh, it, well, I haven't got a clue though because they don't ever give me a time or anything so you'll have to just uh, stick with us three at the moment uh, it's been called what the hell is wrong with that exactly people have a life but they didn't say yes or no they just said yes but it probably be later on but they didn't say it's going to be 10 o'clock 11 o'clock or half past 9 or whatever so it's um, open to them. I put the link out to them. If they want to join us, they can. If not, uh, no worries. We'll just uh, crack on. Exactly, Stuart. Uh, at least with us, lot, we, you can hear Gooper speaking a bit as well because he can get a word in edgeways. So come on, Goop, take over the fort, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Four-day weekend for us at the, in the UK. Stuart, I hate you. I only get a three-day weekend. Yeah, we get Monday as well as Friday, yeah. I get four. It's because they hate you, Goobs. No, I'm kidding. What, what day did, did you have to work Friday then, Goob? I did not have to work Friday, but I still get paid for Friday, which my wife hates. So you got I down. normally work four days a week, four tens. But since Friday was a holiday, we still get paid for it. So I get paid for five days. Uh, hint of shrimp uh, what happened to Jay uh, <laughs> I thought everyone knew about it but um, basically Jay's daughter committed suicide about two days ago and um, yeah and that's basically it which isn't uh, 
the most tra- tragic boy. thing that happened. So that's hence why I just thought that when you're putting comments about him in chat, probably wasn't the most sensitive thing to say. Whatever you think of him, he's a human being. He's got to deal with that for for the rest of his life. So yeah, uh, it's not a nice thing. You should never survive your children. So. It must be. I can't imagine what's going through the poor bloke's um, head and his ex-wife and the rest of his family, for that matter. So, yes, that's what happened. No problem, Hinder Trump. Yeah, no problem. But like I say, yeah, I, I don't like really trolling in chat. Don't really like people slagging off other people on on my show, really. So you probably yeah. will get a strike out if we see it because um, people like Goober, my resident spanners, will take care of it because we try and keep this show nice and friendly that's what it's all about we're a friendly vape community we don't want it to be like trolling left right and center well i don't anyway yeah if you guys want to troll troll me next weekend yeah exactly unless we've invited you on the show to do it like goober is next weekend so check out his roasting goober video oh yeah that's right i'll be live next weekend and you can troll me all you want i need a good laugh Exactly, Mark. Neil Cousins, it's incredibly brave of Jay to go live at the door. Yeah, I know it was it was really hard to watch actually that initial video he did. Yeah, but I stuck it through. Yeah, I did as well. But, but at the end of the day, some, a lot of people would have not wanted to go anywhere near it to a video because. But different people deal with it in different ways. Jay felt he wanted to go out um, out live and express his feelings and engage with his subscribers and everything so fair play to him he, you do what you do there's no right or wrong with it and um but it was heartbreaking to watch yeah my wife couldn't watch it she uh she couldn't watch him break down like that just it was it was hard touching. it was watch. very emotional yes it was um, it was fucking unbelievable it'll for probably about an hour and 45 considering i will be on here afterwards Horsham Heat and Mike, I've watched the last week's show four times. I'm to kill you for trolling me. Horsham Heat and Big Love, brother. Uh, You must have been bored, mate, to watch it four times, but fair play to you. Thank you. (laughs) Wait, was that the show I got drunk on? I wouldn't say you were drunk. I would say you're more... uh, Happy? (laughs) Happy, yes. Pleasantly buzzed. Oh, what? Well, yeah, that was funny, actually. I forgot about that. Well, after your two pints, yeah. Oh. You, you had two pints, and then you had that um, that, 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 that ale that we thought was non-alcoholic, but it turns out to be about 9%. The, the two Bud <laughs> Lights that I had, and then the Red's Wicked Apple Ale, which was that 8% alcohol by volume, one pinder. Yeah. That was funny. You were being funny. I'm sorry for being drunk, but you weren't that bad. I just thought you were a little bit merry. I was just... I don't know, uh, self-consciousness thing, maybe. Uh, I felt like I drank, well, not I felt, I did. I drank more that night than I have in a single night in years. Well, yeah, you don't drink a lot, do you? So it it, it, it does that to you, doesn't it? You build up a tolerance. When you drink more often, you, you need more for it to do the same thing, don't you? But if you haven't had it for ages, a couple of pints would do that yeah. to anyone. I am a lightweight man, and I own that. 100 percent through it's, and through it's cheaper to be a lightweight as well chris isn't it? <laughs> easier on the wallet man yeah what's up hot, hot knife howie god that's a, i love the title of that no you're I'm, good chris I'm, even i'm a lightweight four days in oz two for shane davies yeah just eight percent that's a starter <laughs> beer <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Bear, nice haircut, Goober Vapes. You look like my action man I had back in the 70s. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Jared, the vaping goat, my Jared, brother from another on, brother. mother. Jared! Yeah, you were just mildly <laughs> drunk, lethal. <laughs> yeah, I am a cheap date, too. What's up, Jared? What are you up to today? Have you been taking your son to footy or anything like that? Busy? <laughs> Cheap date, yeah. Seriously. I used to be too. But then again, I was really easy. 
Sorry, guys. My wife's being spazzing out right next to me. Spazzing out. To show off this little device. I do love it. The Stratum styled MOSFET tube and the KFUN light style RTA. Lovely setup. Which you can purchase from March at Market Nature Vape, and I do love him. Really nice gentleman. Oh dear. So what else has been going on then, guys? You got anything coming up for review or anything? Um, just like I said earlier, the Deep Purple by Ultimate Juice, uh, Black Curtain Crush, uh, Summer Holidays, which is by Dinner Lady, and then the Goat, which I still need to do the pop down. Have you got the um, rebuildable deck for that? Have you? I do not. I don't even think they released it yet. Haven't they? What the what's it called? The drop the dead goat or something, isn't it? The <laughs> Star Trek t shirt. Yeah, it looks like one, doesn't it? Not it's, even close. It's actually a Lal and Scott, mate. Which is a Scottish brand for anyone that's uh, doesn't realise in the United Kingdom. Oh god, no Pav G. Right, Matt Please. sorry, carry on, mate. <laughs> Pav G said <laughs> Oh, cheap or expensive, I would love to go on a date with you and feed you some English trifle. Trifle is lovely, actually. I do love it. I haven't had one. So, I, like I said, I have that English trifle juice, but I have nothing to compare oh, it to. Oh, really? You've never tried the real real deal? No. No, I've that. never had an English trifle before. Truffle. Yeah, it's lovely, mate. If you like your sort of stodgy, sort of, sort of like custard and... Um like a spongy bottom with a raspberry sort of filling, I think. It's just, I haven't had it for years. Flat Cat Vapor, evening, guys. Hope you're all good. Sorry, Mike, I'm home already. What was that shiny? I just saw MFA. I need to buy something shiny ASAP. Flat you don't need to apologize. Flat Cat, I, I did invite you. If you want to come on, mate, you're more than welcome to. I can hit you up the Zoom if you are uh, free now because he is supposed to be on next week instead. But uh, you're more than welcome to join in. Sean, uh, Vic, and uh, TVP should be here at some point, but um, they're not here, not here just yet. But totally up to you, buddy. Mr. Flat Cap Vapor. Yeah, that's what I was just talking to, man. I know. I was right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I uh, wanted to say hi. All right. Okay. Sorry. That's Matt good. Matt Benson, how does the K Fun Light compare with the Prime? Well, I've only had it about today basically and so i can't really compare because i've got to put the same juice in it because i've got a, a totally different juice in this but but on first impressions i'm really loving this prime the flavor is awesome on it and the draw on it is smooth smooth as a porn star's ass as a, a certain re reviewer says Ooh. Anyway, Sing probably. best single coil RDA to go on a top side using the profile, but not loving it. Um, there's a few you can try. Uh, the Dead Rabbit SQ is all right. I Recurve. actually really like that. what Recurve. Recurve is yep. a good one. Recurve is a very good one. Tor and Solo I've just reviewed uh, by Thunderhead Creations. That's an awesome single coil. Really good flavor on that. Check out the review. It's quite cheap as well. Gary's recommending uh, the Meal Near. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't no. like the look of it, though. Skyfall's it, good. Yeah, Nature oh, Vape. The Mjolnir claims. No, I'm thinking the Njord. Never mind. Listen to him, the Mjolnir. Mjolnir's the one by Anthony Vapes and um, yeah. someone else, the, the manufacturer. I can't remember now. I was thinking the Njord. Oh, no, that, what, the, the Sandman Modern that came with the... Uh, the, it was that um, Owen Morton. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, not a great RDA. Uh, there's lots of style ones like Nature Vapes just alluded to the Skyfall. If you want to buy the authentic, it's two hundred pounds, and you have to go through hoops to get it through vape uh, uh, Facebook and shit like that. And I don't even expect you can get one anymore. They're made in Australia. But if you want to buy the style one from 3F8, they're about $14 or so. 
I've got the Copper Vape one. You can get the SXK and YFTK, and that is an awesome one. But the Concord's a good one. The Supersonic, uh, the Armor, is, I think that might be a dual coil actually. Radius V2, there's loads of them that I've got on my ch channel if you want to check them out, which I shouldn't really be saying, but uh, I did do them ages ago. <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a hard question to answer when someone says, what's the best one? Because everyone's taste is different. Depends how wide uh, airflow you, you like and stuff like that. Uh, if you're a flavor yeah. chaser or some people like a hot vape and like it wide open, the airflow, especially if you like your mechs. Shane Davis agreed. My wife is going crazy in the corner. No worries, flat cap, Gaz. Uh, just thought I'd ask anyway, mate. The offer was there. But, uh, Sit on for next week and we'll see you then, mate. You like my background? Cheers, IVC. Yeah, I'm actually in uh, next door's uh, sauna at the moment. I've got the gym that's next door. Uh, so, yeah, I thought I'd just pop over there because it wasn't hot enough over here today. So, <laughs> you can't see the other sweaty old guys. He's got the camera facing. <laughs> and... It's not really, no it's, problem, just, it's just a screen, uh, IVC. Dusty, I try to get my wife on, except uh, sometimes, she leave. sometimes she doesn't. Yeah. Jared, big love, buddy. Thank you for popping in, man. Yeah, cheers, Jared. As always, good to see you, bro. And we will have to get you on here again soon, though, if um, if you'll be up for that, Jared, because that was awesome when you were on there. So we'll do that. I'll hit you up at some point, mate. So take it easy. Have a good one. Uh, vaping noob, I can give her my bank card and she knows not to spend a whole bunch. Very well trained. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyone in chat got any questions for either of us? Because it's um, sometimes nice to go on what chat is saying. Give us a little bit of uh, content because we are just winging it as ever. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? Best way to go. But don't all ask at the same time because then we miss them all. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, this uh recoil V God setup here, that's the aluminum version, and it is light as hell. Oh, oh, is it? Oh my god. I go to pick it up and I'm like, oh, I need to put a battery in there. <laughs> and I realize there's already a battery in it. Yeah, it's weird when you get a mod like that, isn't it? I must admit, the Pro Mix Kit 2 is quite a light one as well. Hey, Chris Doyle. Chris Doyle, what's up, buddy? I just want to allude to some of these questions. Dusty Fingers, Mike was beamed down from the Enterprise into a sauna. <laughs> Indeed, man. All right, someone else. Felix is an outside in an outside toilet. I'm going to buy one soon. What, a sauna, IVC, or a backdrop? He's in a water closet. <laughs> water right yeah so, the, the, someone did say about the kelpie yes it, i'm supposed to be getting one from artery vapor who are basically the same company as eh pro but there has been a delay and i did get an email a couple of days ago saying it has been shipped but like nature vape saying there the kelpie has had a slight delay the stainless steel has been sent from eh pro and is on the way so should arise tuesday wednesday the black kelpie has been sent out any time and will arrive two days later. So anyone who's done pre-orders through NatureVape, that's what March just said there. The background, Shane, yeah? Yeah, you can pick them up on eBay. I paid about a tenner for this one, I think, Shane. Looks a little bit better than the white sheet that I did have. Or you can go the green screen route if you can work it out, like Goober's done there. Which looks pretty awesome. Pav G bollocks, I ordered a black one. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that Kelpie, and uh, I don't know when it's going to turn up because if it's got to come from China. Yeah, it looks more like a shed. Right, be interesting to see what the Kelpie offers over single coilers, but I think RTAs would take off again this year. 
Yeah, I don't think RTAs have ever not taken off. Because I'm an RTA lover, I think there's um, plenty of them out there. On my channel, since I've been going 17, 18 months ago, I've got oodles of RTAs on my channel. Stuart, am I drinking cider? Yes, we are. We've got we got two varieties here. We've got Recorder League Strawberry and Lime, Swedish cider, 4%. Yay! And we've also Yay! got Copperberg Premium uh, Pear Cider, which is 4.5. Uh, this is also, I believe that, where's that from? It's also gay. Yeah, I think that's Scandinavian as well. Actually, that's a, a little bit stronger, that one. No wonder I'm feeling a little bit tiddly. So I just remembered, in addition to those Nick salts that I have to review being 50 milligram, yeah. another big reason I'm not looking forward to do it is it's 50 milligram. What is it? Menthol. Ah. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. I was saying that, though, in a pod or something, it'd be all right. That's tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah, it's a menthol tobacco. Oh, right. I used to like that. Well, I used to like it when I used to smoke menthol cigarettes, but menthol <laughs> roll ups. So I used to buy, you know, the filters you can put in a nor like a normal rolly. Gay. <laughs> Again, <laughs> what the hell have you got in there now, Cuba? It's great though. Your green screen's working really go good there, isn't it? Is it's, it a Star uh, Wars ship? What is that? The what ship is Chris, it? you're fired. It's not Star Wars, it's Star Trek. Star Trek. It looks more like Star Wars. No. Not even I like that one actually, Goo. Besides, Thank I'm a you. bigger Star Wars fan than I am a Star Trek fan. I like them both equally. Ah. I'm not a major a fan of either of them. I just myself. like what G said. He's like, fuck me, Goober teleported again. Mike doesn't like anything fun. <laughs> it's not that. It's just you have to sit down and watch it, and I'd get a bit restless. <laughs> so I like to be doing things like the old I, man used to as well. Now, I do like watching some things. I watched um, uh, Purge Anarchy last night, the uh, film about that's fucking awesome. I love that. Do you know where they do that uh, annual thing? In America, mm -hmm. have you seen it? I just thought that that, that well, was... they don't actually do that. No, but I, it's the sort of thing that could happen, I suppose. But it's funny, yeah. though, isn't it? And it turns out it's the bloody one of the government workers who's actually doing it as well, wasn't it? Which uh, defeated the object altogether, trying to cull all the people. Um, yeah, Goober. So that wasn't your window then. Are you? No. That's what I was going to say. Is that a, are you got a green screen now behind you? Have you? You're yeah. using mm -hmm. green. Yeah. Yes, it is. It works really well then. So, what did you do then? You just did the chroma key, yeah? Yep. Uh, no, you can do it in Zoom. What? It does it automatically. Yeah. Yeah, you can set it to chroma key inside of Zoom. Yeah, but I thought you had to like click on like the face and get the eye like calibrated and stuff like that. Nope. No, it auto does it. Oh, right. What? So, because you're on my Zoom, you can do it from when, within that as well, yeah? Yeah. I'll have to ch check that out then, because I've got a green green cloth. Uh... Trouble is, I've got a mirrored wardrobe behind me, and it the cloth wasn't thick enough, so it used to see behind there as well, which didn't work, because you've got the light shining on it. Oh, here we go. That's it. Cover that flag. Be patriotic. Oh, yeah. Let me be <laughs> American. Okay, Chris, what you see is Star Trek. This is Star Wars. Ah, that is bad, doesn't it? The mirrors on the scene as well. No, unfortunately not, man. This wardrobe's just an old one that we've had for years and we haven't got round to replacing it. Your cloths are stained a bit. We all know why. Oh, yes. Oh, let's see. How do you work out what wattage the vapor and RTA at? Grey vapor. That's a good question. Obviously, from someone a bit of a newbie in chat. Uh, what I do is, depends what 
resistance your coil is uh, it's it's a really hard one to to answer but um whatever uh, coil you put in there basically start it off at a low wattage and keep increasing it until it tastes sweet basically uh, and keep going until it gets, gives you the required vape but you have to choose your resistance or your coil there's loads of things depends whether you want a mount a lung vape or a director lung how much airflow you want stuff like that so there's lots of variables involved look i'm a, I'm a vape yeah i like your wood <laughs> oh you like my wood yeah. <laughs> so for example yeah, um totally for example gray vapor i've got the wasp nano here and the coil i've got in here is a 0.43 ohm which is quite high for me i've just got a fuse clapton so i've got it on 38 watts and basically just start it off around 30 keep going up until it tastes sweet you can go up to 50 it depends how hot you like it as well but uh, it's there's no right or wrong you've just got to experiment i'm afraid just do what you can shed wankers uh dusty fingers question for you which back, version man. of leia hey hold on uh has Gilbert shaved his hair ready for jail when what's up, I, like, what's up Mohammed? You. your wood goes straight up lethal whose wood oh no when i had my my background my wood went up yours goes side to side all right yeah and i've got a corner bit in mine as well it makes it look like i am actually in a shed <laughs> goober do you have wood what's up <laughs> what's up uh, the vape man nice to see you no, bro not yet Get in that shed. Speaker, hands where we can see him. Not your hands, her hands. <laughs> see, her hands are right here. <laughs> right, Mark in chat is saying, check the ohms you call and go to steamengine.org, click ohms law and type your call ohms and tell, or tell you the ideal wattage. Yeah, but that's still subjective, though. It's always good to start off low and go up until you hit the right spot. But it will give you a, like a ballpark figure that should be in right. There should be in that sort of range for that uh, resistance of coil. That's no good, IBC. I hope you're feeling better now, man. Yeah, I hope you're feeling much better, bro. Someone needs to make a basic under airflow single core RDA with a shit ton of airflow, I like think. a quarter of the wasp. Like a quarter of the wasp? Oh, right. Okay. What, the quarter of the size of the wasp, you mean? Because this is not This is a little bit restrictive, the wasp. Hi, Emily K. How you doing? Ben Vapes, how's it going? Ben Vapes, what's up, bud? Gear is a tiny... It is a tiny tank. I haven't got it on the game. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good flavour, that wasp and nano. He's on his way to Goober's Bill. <laughs> TT Chroma, yo, 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 guys. <laughs> Wrong channel, yo, man. Yo, yo. <laughs> What's up, Chris Robertson? All right, anyone who's wondering where the others are, I don't know. That's all I can say there. They did say oh. they were going to turn up. They might be late. Good, nice old Chevy behind me, though. Chris Robertson. Chris Dorr, he's off already. See you later, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Holy crap, there's actually Goobersville. Louisiana looks like our uh, Goober Town, Arkansas. Vic, tunt. Wait, I'll, I'll stop. I'll, I'll, I'll stop I'll cursing beat, you I'll all just, now. The wrong <laughs> fucking camera. What fucking camera am I using? It's not that one. So it must be another one. Yeehaw! What's up, Vic? How you doing, mate? Fucking knackered, but nothing but visitors all fucking day. It sounded like you have been, doesn't it? From watching the little stream earlier, you had to pop off again, didn't you? Not a while ago. 
Who oh, knows? Get this fucking camera sorted. They all gone now, have they? Yeah, they have. Thank fuck. That's got out of the way for another six months or so. Then. Oh no! <laughs> we'll see them again tomorrow. Oh, will it? <laughs> Get on with this fucking camera. When you've got your camera sorted, Vic, give us your little buffet. I'm sure you've got a couple of items to show us. The, the only person in the world that's got a Kelpie. <laughs> <laughs> True. No, the Kelpie. <laughs> that I was thought... a bad one, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Have G, yes, Vic. How's the scrotum, mate? <laughs> oh shit! Don't talk about the scrotum. Squeaky oh, bum. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. I'm not off. Good old Logitechs. Now, dude, fuck it. Scott's review. How are you doing, mate? Ordered. The I ain't funny, boys. Ordered the black Kelpie stock expected on Nature of Ape in two days. Excited. You yeah. get Scott's review on the UK Vape show at some point. Yeah, he was supposed to be on here tonight, Vic, but he um, he had to bail out because he's got to go Easter egg hunting with his children and stuff tomorrow, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, he's a nice fella. So I, what are you vaping on there? <laughs> Oh, what am I vaping on? Yeah, Fuck. what are you vaping on? Yeah. Um, gold QP Designs Fatality. Um, not a clone. This is an original one. Sent over by Speed Triple on the black and gold G class. Elitist. I have nothing <laughs> on the most pointless mod from iJoy ever released. Oh, what, that captain? It's the captain with a resin panel. With everything pointless. else the same? Yeah, everything's the same. In fact, it's so much the same that this thing can't even take 21700s. It's yeah, only 2700s. I 2700s. cannot believe they d did that. That's what it needed, didn't it? That's what then yeah. you could have just said, yeah, here's the 21700 one. PD 21700. Captain Resin, if you want to waste your fucking money. That's your sand. Uh, With the nudge 22. Two hours. Cause him an elitist bastard. Yes, two yeah. elitist setups there. Uh, the Ringo Mech Man mod. It's not a mech and there's no man on it, so fuck knows where they got the name from. Oh, right. A regulated device. It's not bad, actually. Yeah. It fucker. looks a bit like the Tesla Y2. It but... does a bit. And, of course, Kelpie. Ooh. Serial number 0001. It's the first one off the batch. Looking forward to getting that, Vic. Very nice. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Cheers for that. So, how are you doing then? Knackered. Knackered. You went on the stream earlier for um, uh, Kentucky. Yeah. 24-hour stream and that. I think that just finished about an hour ago. Well, I think it might have only just finished. I think I thought it was 9 o'clock, but it was 10 o'clock uh, in the end. Was it? Yeah. Mm. 10 o'clock hard time. So you had loads of visitors up, and then after that, I stripped this desk down to clean the thing up because there was fucking e-liquid and fucking bits of cotton stuck to the liquid <laughs> in the table. And I think, yeah, I think I better fucking tidy this desk. It's a bit of a fucking disaster. You build mat as well. I got rid of the small ant one. I didn't get rid of it. It's in the washing machine. So I've got uh, the old faithful vape mat back out again. In the washing the machine? Vape. What's that? Geek knows better. Yeah. Geek vape. Geek knows better. Nice. But the Battle got... Star one from Small Ant, that was covered in fucking e liquid as well. So, yeah. Can you put fucking... them in the washing machine then, Vic? What, the vape mats? Yeah. Yeah. I've never, not thought about that. I've just wiped it down with a damp cloth for myself because it's got no, that sort of rubbery that. coating on there, isn't it? I didn't know no, what they're, that... they're washing machine safe. Just that... chuck it in in a low temperature. Oh, right. I've tried it. Uh, somebody said, somebody told me, I can't remember who it was, The some you can and some of them you can't. Yeah, it usually says it, usually says it on the label. Hmm. I usually just wash mine by hand, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I don't know where the other two are, Mark. Uh, Mark, uh, Vic, even. Yeah, Mark's probably laying drunk somewhere, and yeah, so it's easy coming for that matter. It is Easter weekend, isn't it? I was wondering whether they turn up or not. But uh... hey, Mike, uh, Scott's review wants the Zoom link. Oh, does he? Three for flowers. Right, cool. Let's get Scott's review on then, because he was invited on here originally, but. Um... Yeah, and everyone in chat, someone did allude to it. Can you hit the thumbs up uh, icon or, or the thumbs down if you think it's shit? Because it does help with the analytics. And we've got 150 people watching and only 38. So you can do better than that, guys. Cheers. Right, bear with you. I've got to go onto Twitter, that means. Right. Pud Puffs, have you had that? Well, not you, obviously, but <coughs> I'm guessing by everyone saying congratulations. The child has been born. He has. It's Pud she Puffs has. in there. She yeah, had. he's in chat. Oh, right. Uh, fucking congrats, Pudpus. I'm glad it all went congrats. okay, mate. It's a bit pun yeah, sitting there going, for fuck's sake, hurry up. Fucking Expo's nearly here. <laughs> <laughs> Little Welcome Emily Puffs has been born. Oh. Right. Right, he is freeze for two hours. Right, nice one. I wonder. Right, um... Fuck me, I can never remember anyone's name. Kieran, uh, Scott's review is. I have sent the link to your Twitter mail on there, I believe. So should be there now, mate. Bye, Gooba. Should I? Somebody yes. suggested I'll be back next week. Glad it wasn't last week, yeah, when we had the show last week. Said Lisa, my lovely wife. What's in her name? Hey, Lisa. Do, do, do me a favour, Goober, do me a favour. Huh? Put a background from a decent sci-fi show on. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shit. I quite like the nature of one. or the. Um... Would you like Star Trek? Star Trek. Anything but fucking Star Wars. Put How's Doctor that? Who on. Nah, there's not really any decent backgrounds for Doctor well, Who. We could have a Sean Pertwee or something on there. <laughs> John? No, John. Perry. John Pertwee. Oh, yeah, he's John, the younger John's one, isn't son. he? I will, change, I will change this if I need to. Hello. What's up, Kieran? How are you doing, mate? How's it going, man? Thanks for having me on. Nice I'm to, good. Nice to good, meet thanks. Everybody, uh, I was. It's... <laughs> everyone in, everyone in chat. This, this is Scott's review. He does reviews. He's got about 9,000 plus subs. Check him out. He's a really nice. I don't know gent... fucking how, to be honest. Yeah, mate. I don't either, but. <laughs> <laughs> but... He is a really nice bloke. I asked him last week or a couple of weeks ago if he wanted to come on. He said he was busy tonight in the end. He had to bail out. But he's come back on, which is very good of him. So I had to um, I had to go and... My message told me I had to set up for an Easter egg hunt. Yeah. So I was like, right, I'll message, I'll message Mike. I'll say, look, I'm really sorry. I can't come on. I've got to set up any struggle. It only involved hiding plastic eggs around the living room. It took literally 10 minutes. I was on <laughs> Pucky Vapor's living room. Uh, living, I was on his living room? No, I was on his live show. And... Um, his just ended. I don't know. I got cut off somehow. I don't know what happened, but um, it just it just abruptly ended. So maybe his computer crashed. It, it, it is back on from hearing. Yeah, fair that enough, Kieran. That's all right, mate. Yeah, because normally they do them in. I remember my um, brother when he did it with his kids. He went to like Upton Country Park, which is this big park, and they put eggs bloody everywhere. Do you know what I mean? You had to walk a couple of miles to find them all. So it's a little bit easier <laughs> if you're doing it in your bedroom, isn't it? Well, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't they do would that. Be. You know, the wee fucking Neds would steal them all. <laughs> oh, a pure egg man of quality. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you two acquainted then, Vic? Uh, you and Kieran, yeah? Vic actually gave me a shout out on one of his WhatsApp episodes about um, about a good few months ago. It was a long time ago. Yeah, last year. Me, yeah, yeah, definitely over a year. And um, I did, I did gain a decent amount of traction from from Vic's video. Uh, Vic. Um, I actually owe a lot of the channel growth too. Apart, I, I, also that one video I did, which gained two hundred thousand subs, which I hate. By the way, I hate that video I did about the stay away from this e-liquid about the fake e-liquid. I yeah. hate the way it was shot. I hate the way it was edited. I hate the video, but it's my most popular one, so I can't really. Yeah, it's remember. fucking nightmare. That um, <laughs> we're, we're not. We've never really officially spoken apart from now. But um, he had, he did give me a, a shot on one of his WhatsApp episodes, so I do I do owe him that as well. Nice one, Ian Morgan. Nice to see you, brother. Yeah. So, yeah. Cheers. But for... hold on. Look, look, look at look at these two Americans just 
fucking advert. Oh, now he changes his fucking background. What's he doing there, Chris? I see what you were doing. What did he have on there, Vic? <laughs> fucking self-promoting. By the way, buy my tank. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Jules Mama Vapes, Gaily Pops. I feel like I made a week ago. It turns out I ordered the really awkward colour, which isn't coming in stock for another two days. <laughs> I ordered a black one. He's like, the stainless steel's in stock, but the black's another two days. It's yeah, I don't know why the black ones t- I don't know why the black ones get that two day delay. That's weird. I'm not really I'm not really bored. It's not like I was desperately needing it today, but um I have got it pre ordered. Got the black one. Can't wait to get it. So Vic, do you know any that. reviewers that have got them there? No. No, because I got an email from R3 on the two days ago saying there's been a bit of a delay, so they've only just sent it out. So yeah, they only they only just, which means I think they're they're sending it out to all the reviewers at the same time. So most of the review, most of the reviewers will probably get it sometime at the end of this week coming. Yeah, yeah, because obviously what expo same company in it R3. That would be probably the same issue, would it be? From yeah, uh, same yeah, company. Yeah. Um. Yeah, who was that? That was uh, Ingvar M. Loken. Wants to know what you are vaping on, Mr. Scott's review. Oh, yes. I've got I've got two setups on the go. I like to have an RTA and an, and an RDA setup. So uh, tank-wise, I've got the Profile Unity RTA, which is the, 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 the mesh RTA from uh, Wotofu. That um, is a massive one. TVC oh and God, that's a or whatever. This is a Lux. It is. Damn. Is it's that, a Lux. What's with that? The, limitless. With the wooden sleeve. This is old school. That's it, old school. It is old school. Uh, dual 26 650. So I've got some uh, Fogstar 26 650s in 26, there. 26 Oh, fucking 26 650. So it's, it's probably the biggest mod I own, to be honest. That's the RTA setup. The RDA setup. I've got the Old Vape Druga Foxy. The copper one, which apparently they oh. fixed all the, the issues with uh, the first two batches. Um, and I've got the Bushido 2 RDA with the Cloud Chaser cap on there because this RDA came with two caps, came with a flavor cap and an RDA cap. And as far as I can tell, the only difference was the flavor cap had a 510 tip, and that was kind of it, to be honest. They're <laughs> nice, those mods, aren't yeah. they? I like that in copper. Uh, the copper looks nice. It does look nice. It comes with wooden panels originally, but I put the black yeah. panels on so it matched the, uh, the Bushido a little bit. Yeah. Better. Yeah, because so I usually have wooden panels. Have you got the dark oak uh, wooden panels with your ones? Um, because because they sent the me a couple ones I have. Uh, this is these are the wooden ones I have, oh. and I was surprised to find that it is real wood. I thought it was yeah. going to be plastic yeah. with like a wood, a wood, a wood kind of wrap on it, or whatever. But it is it is real wood with kind of the the magnets. Yeah, because I've got the dark oak one. I love it. It looks so. I'll go and grab it in a minute. I remember Mike saying he had an original F batch one, and his was still working. So. I had I had one. This one broke. I got, I got two cent. I got the gunmetal cent. I got the stainless steel cent. I gave the stainless steel one away in a viewer giveaway. Uh, this one broke. It stopped reading atomizers. Yeah, that one looks great. Yeah, it looks. I think it make, makes it look really a bit nice. more expensive. In fact, it's, it does. Um, yeah, very 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 high class. The trouble with mine is it's got the battery fault warning every time you fire it, <laughs> but ah. it still works. It just this fucking one annoying. doesn't work at all. <laughs> this one doesn't even read a fucking atomizer. To be honest, this one's no, completely dead. No, it's all, it's all right, but it's just every time you fire, it says battery fault. So it's fine. You just don't look at the screen, which is tiny <laughs> anyway. So <laughs> you just, you just, I, I said to them, they said, "Oh well, don't worry about." It. I, was, I was trying to hint. Can you send me another one when you? Get one that actually works properly, but that, that's the thing is this one completely died. It won't read an atomizer, it won't fire an atomizer. The one I gave away died as well, but it was a fire button fault that one had. Oh, really? Uh, Old Fate replaced that one. Uh, my live stream co host Morg, he had two of them, both of his broke, and then Og Vape just stopped replying to his emails. He said, mm. Look, the second one's broke, can you replace it? And he never heard anything back. And that yeah. was kind of the end of it, you know? Yeah, I think they probably should have done a bit more quality control testing with those first three batches. From what I heard, it was a it was a software issue, mainly. Yeah, but the trouble is, you can't plug a USB cable exactly. into it. No, so you can't fucking no update them. There's no firmware upgrades to it. And I'm, yeah. I, I can understand why there's no firmware upgrades. It's literally wattage and voltage and nothing else. Yeah. So there's nothing to upgrade I, I, anyway. But I, if it did have the USB slot, they could have fixed the whole thing. Yeah, first. because that's what they said. They said, I will tell your subscribers that they've fixed it on the third batch. And I'm saying, yeah, what about mine then? No, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem. I did my review on it and I'm like, this is probably going to be a fight, my favorite Duo 18650 mod. And in a week later, all of them yeah, started breaking. It's... I'm thinking, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's See? what I mean. It's so frustrating because I really do like it. It's a nice quality, heavy bit of um, 
kit. It's just like pure zinc alloy. It's a very yeah. heavy, nice, high quality feeling mod, and I do. I love it. I love. I love using mods in voltage mode or bypasses yeah. if, if they offer it. Hit so because you yeah. know that plastic one they did as well, the VX two hundred. That's a really yeah. good chip in that. I think the it must PI be pretty... chip. Yeah, the PI chip is. Yeah. It has an incredible amount of features on it. You've got wattage yeah. mode, you've got temp control with all your wire types, you've got bypass and variable voltage, and a customizable color screen. Yeah, I've seen them on the eSig one for about twenty-seven quid uh, yesterday. I think uh, value for, value for money. Yeah, though, I couldn't believe that because I was thinking, oh, this is going to be. I was a bit scared to even put anything on about hundred watts, but it was like, fuck me, that hits like a train. It's nice, yeah, and it's got the full kind of side fire button, similar to. What the, the what the kind of alien the smock alien yeah. started a couple of years ago. It's a little bit crunchy, my one was, but it sort of did wear its way. In. I gave it away anyway to a charity Main, auction. Mine's very creaky, so if you grab the top and the bottom and you twist it, yeah, eh, exactly. All fake creaks. It's, you know? it's not one for those who work on a building site or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, or I feel like if you drop it, sausage with fingers or something, you're gonna fucking you can just squash it in half, aren't you? Hits like a train, bra. What's up, Pud Puss? Congratulations again, buddy. Pud, pud, yeah. Pud Puff. Pud Puff, mate. Congratulations on the, on, the, on the new one, <laughs> buddy. I always say Puss. You've seen Pud Puff. Pud yeah, I know. <laughs> that's because I'm from down south, isn't it? Down south. <laughs> pud Puff. So I, can't, I, could, I just read it like that. Pud. Pudding. Pud Pudding. Yeah, no, pud it's nice. Puffs. Probably nice. Oh, yeah, pud puffs. Jules, Mama <laughs> Vapes, Chris, Mike, MF, Vic, Goobs, Kieran with hearts. What nice matters to see what you, one is that? Make or Scotch review? Uh, what one? Uh, this one, the Duke of Foxy by Og Vape. If, if that's the one you're talking about, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, in the copper versions that they've updated, it's, it actually works properly. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm odd that works. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Noel? Noel Leeds in the house as well. No one's been here for a while. Yeah, I know he has, but I didn't see that. Yeah, Lethal Goober, it's a pleasure to virtually meet both of you. Absolutely, Mr. Scott. I like your backdrop, Lethal. Now that's pretty cool, man. You know Fuck what? You know, I, I actually, I want to mention, <laughs> Mike, I want to mention this about your background. I was absolutely heartbroken to find that that's not actually a corner. <laughs> it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a flat backdrop because you posted a picture of it on Twitter, and it broke my heart because I thought you were genuinely sat. In a in a in a room that was filled with wood. And it's all alive. <laughs> it's all alive, mate. Everything. <laughs> oh, 169 shit. watching and 86 thumbs down. I thought she said then. Okay, Lee. fucking hell, that would have been a record for the channel. But um, it doesn't matter if it goes one way or the other. But uh, yeah, hit the thumbs up. It'd be awesome, guys. Drew, I apologise. I speak very fast when I um. I want to get excited. Vic, really Vic, I wanted to... Ooh. I've got the old um, Stratum. No, the old have you, Stratum have you tr cool. tried it out yet? I've got mines up in the studio, but I was messing around with it before I wrecked the studio on my way back home because I couldn't be fucked cleaning the place. It's nice that it's got those two um, rings so you can put a 24 on as yeah. well. So it's I've... basically a mech mod with a kick chip. Yeah. That's what it is. But with a, this, this is Zachary, this is the, the clone, basically, of the K-Fun Lite. I don't know if you've tried this yet, Vic, but the draw on this is awesome. Uh, I don't know. Do you like a tight melt along? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I golf think it ball can... through, Golf ball through a garden hose. You can get it awesome. tight, but I've got it sort of... You, you just um, unscrew that little nylon piece in there, and I've got it slightly loose, but the draw I'm getting is smooth as you like, and the flavour I'm getting... I reckon you should check that one out. It's awesome. I was going to say I heard from a few people it was a very smooth... Very smooth airflow you got from that. It's, yeah, I'm really impressed, man. And it just feels so nice, that little mod as well. Which you can get from Market Nature Vape, everybody. Vape Along man. with the Kelpie, which you will all go and buy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be getting I actually saw it on the front page. I'm so gutted, though. But I was hoping to have that by this weekend, Vic. The tank was supposed to have been released at the end of March. Was it? Yeah. But there so was a load, there was a load of delays. What the fuck? Now we've got two across. What? No. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. The other one. <laughs> the other one. Kick out the one. Oh, I'll oh, fuck him off. You get more of me. How do I do it? Remove. Who my says too much? Of good that? Why didn't it work? 
because it wants me on here. No, the. Uh... I am on Nunchaku RD single build pre built tiger coil, probably from Matofo. It's showing 0.67 on whatever wattage is. That's a bit high for a tiger coil, 0.67 ohms. Yeah, that's very high. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Chris, what did you actually do, mate, for it to do that? It froze up, so I had to close out the application and then All ding right. back in. If I just, Vic, Ingvar. Vic, you what? know about Zoom. If I on on that one that's frozen, can I just put stop video? Yeah, yeah. The the, the three little dots at the yeah. top. Click on it and just say stop. Yeah, because there is a remove or stop video. I don't want that to fucking end everything. Remove, remove it. Just I, remove it. I just did remove, and it hasn't. It's not working. It's still there. All right. So you stop video. Oh, it just means we need to, we need to suffer Chris looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there an actual picture there? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh can't. my god, I don't get that picture. That I don't is. get it either. I just get a blank screen. I can't get any. I, I can't fucking <laughs> remove it. Bastard. No, I'm oh, he's, right. he's right, look at I just took a screenshot. I'll send it to you, Chris. I see it now. I, I'm looking at the stream. That's funny as hell. Fucking stupid yeah. Logitech piece of shit camera. You're going to drop the brightness yeah. down. Just, oh, there oh. we go. Did Gooba froze? Uh, no, I think he's is he just sitting really still. No, he's just sitting really still. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> <sitting> <laughs> yeah, <still>. that's the <laughs> normal position for Goobs, man. That don't do that, lethal, because it looks as if you're frozen again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my camera's fucked up. <laughs> oh well, it looks like um, we're stuck with it because it won't let me remove it. You would think with the amount of fucking money that Logitech's been throwing around recently buying up all these companies, they could fix the fucking cameras. Or did you hear, by the way, the blue microphone company? Yeah. Logitech owns them now. Oh, no. no. Seriously. Oh, there it goes. Lethal's gone. Oh, he's gone. I hope it's just that one that goes. Yay! Oh, the How Right, How long that, have Logitech owned them for? Vape man, guys, any of you know what the biggest squonk deck you can get in the UK? Uh, squonk deck? Is that get like it. the Glass version 1.1 or something? Yeah, right? I was going to yeah. say, uh, Steam Crave something and then fit a squonk pin on it. Yeah, the Steam Crave, the Steam Crave Glass V1 or 1.1 doesn't matter. Yeah. They're both the same fucking dropper. <laughs> I have um, should have that coming, guys, on the channel soon because steam crave said they're sending it sending it to me over and the plus oh. which vic reviewed about three years ago but i said <laughs> i i said i haven't got it and everyone still raves so i'm gonna review that as well i went i went to buy a glass believe it or not and it, they were sold out everywhere i could not find a glass in the uk what the, or the original one right. kieran yeah glass version one yeah. could not find one anywhere in the uk vic you went super bright i think the game Again, for the love of know. fucking god, that looks good right there. Yeah, fuck it, that'll that'll do. Have, have you got a light on you, Vic? I've got that bouncing off the walls and shit. All right, I'm so in front of me. there's nothing in front of me because there's a wall with a Doctor Who clock right in front of me. So, oh, I can't right, yeah. In front of me, yeah, yeah. See, in terms of lighting for me, I've literally got a, a home bargains desk lamp with bacon paper wrapped around the front of it so that's Just why my it. face looks sh so shiny i'm not i'm not sat here sweating buckets it's just light <laughs> you don't look too bad at all man it's all right oh appreciate it that's nice to be complimented i'm looking too bright but i can't be i've just got on auto i couldn't be bothered Sorry. tonight liz cavell k k is in chat i probably missed it you probably said hello how you doing liz nice to see you not long i must be Two soft boxes and then two umbrella lamp. Elitist. I must that's, be. That's got, what I would love to have. I've just got two one soft, soft box. box. And the green for me space for my umbrella Perfect. lamp. No shadows. Perfect lighting. I think Vex Peach Custard that I made has been sitting for six months now. That's a long six time. months? Jesus, Stuart. <laughs> Open it and start vaping the damn thing. Vape it before it goes out of date. Fucking hell. <laughs> Trigger vapes. First time I've been able to stay up on a Saturday for a long while, so having to join in, I really miss this. Cheers for tuning Aww. in, Trigger. Yeah, welcome, Trigger. We're having a good time tonight, buddy. You know what? I should set up a vape corner in my bedroom, take a picture with it behind me, and then just use that as the backdrop. Go for that. 
Right. I quite, I, like, I quite like the green screen background, to be honest. Do you? Yeah. You could, it is. Like, you could add anything, you know what I mean? To like, to, when it comes to green screens, you could add literally anything as your background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. ideas, you I two. I say something oh, about the tongue there. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alan Tovey, about my nunchaku build, what should I... Should it show on a 0.36 Tiger Coil? I'm a newbie. I'm using Nunchaku RDA. What do you mean, what should it show? What wattage should you be using? What should it show? Yeah. It should be shown a 0.36 if it is a 0.36. Uh, the watts just start off low and go up until it tastes pretty good and it gives you the throat hit and everything that you want. I mean, general um, rule, not quite sure what else I can say about that. It's a, start around 40, 50, add it, go up yeah. like five watt increments. And Point 0.36 is slightly high though, so you might get away with a 35 on that. So it depends Gosh. what sort of vape you like, doesn't it? I like a cool vape. If you like it warm, hot, you might want to go up to 60 or 65 or something. I like a, I like a fat vape myself. A, a, a fat vape? What? A, a fat vape. vape. I don't know why I said fat vape. <laughs> it's the fucking Stella talking. Fat vape? What's a fat vape? I see the lethal course has changed his background. Is that safe now? <laughs> right, two sex. There are male and female. Those are the only two sex. <laughs> <laughs> I might steal that and use it on my own streams, to be honest. <laughs> it's quite good. Yes, Vic. Guy is right. Always make sure you screw down. I can't hear Vic. What do you mean you can't hear me? What? Because he was talking. I couldn't hear what you were saying. I can't remember what it was fucking saying now. Fuck Sorry, it. that's my fault. I spoke at the same time as Vic, and so you may have to I have that problem a lot, Vic. It's old age. Well, thanks. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> all. Just Eat. in for a couple of minutes. It's halfway through recording. Eat my BB. How are you doing? How's it going, man? Eat my BB. Eat my baby, what's going on? He's, he's like, like he's, on tour or something. he's on a world tour. They're both are. The location keeps changing. Like, is that a Stonehenge? Mm -hmm. no, fucking hell. <laughs> what's next? What's next? Edinburgh oh. Medical Museum. Want to see a big pickled bobby in the background? Oh, there we go. That's just as good. <laughs> 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 This is where I need a green screen so every video can have oh, a shit. notification, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somehow I went to bed. <laughs> I see you did. So today I'm going to be reviewing some uh, Rochford Project Liquid in Reykjavik, Iceland. Although I'm not really here, it's just the backdrop. <laughs> oh, fuck it, I'll leave them. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure they've got clothes on. They might underneath the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your wife? <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Evidently, yeah. Back <laughs> where we oh, are. If she's watching this. What's up, Mo, bro? No, we'll oh, go back. Bro. How are you doing? Bro, bro, bro. Bro. That wasn't even What's a Welsh buddy? accent. Who knows what that was? <laughs> Okay. Right, we've got stone engine as well, Goobs. I like it, mate. It's nice, isn't it? It's a nice backdrop. Like, oh, Empire State Building, no? Wait, never mind. I'm in New York. Evening <laughs> Essence Clouds. How you doing, buddy? The look of surprise on Mike's face, priceless. <clears throat> so, Kieran. Yes. Are you heading to the Expo? In October. Oh, you got the October one? I'll see you there. The October one, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look at my channel, it's mainly e liquid anyway, so I may as well go to the fucking October one, to be honest. Because the October one is mainly e liquid, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Stuart. You Stuart. can tell Goober's wife is there. The only erections he can have is Stonehenge. Actually, my wife is not here. UK Andy's in the house. What's up, bud? Jonathan, I don't know what chatterbait is. So that's a shame you're not coming to the May one then, uh, Kieran. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to miss May, unfortunately. Um, the the weekend the expo's on, I'm actually away, 
on a camping trip with some people that a few guys that have been on my channel before. Oh, right. That'd be cool. So, and that ended up landing on the exact same weekend as the May Expo. So I'm going to have to miss that one, but I'll, I'll hundred, hundred and 110% be there in October. So if, sure. if you're there in October, you'll probably see me at some point. To be honest, the October one's more chilled out than the one in May. The May yeah. one's like, <laughs> I find the May one is like kind of after Chinese new year and everyone has new hardware coming out. Yeah. So it's kind of a, a bit crazy. Although I would love to go to it because I am more of a... It's funny. If you look at my channel, you'd think I was more into e-liquid, but I'm definitely more of a hardware than the e-liquid man. Mm. So I would love to go to the May Expo, but I'm just yeah. this year. Maybe next year. Next year, I've made it my, my goal to hit as many expos as possible. You can um, stay outside longer as well, which was nice, because we all went back to the um, the hotel and just had a few beers and chat and that it, till late, because it stays light, doesn't it, till half 10 or something. Uh, yeah, and the May went. one, yeah. yeah. A few beers in it. So, few and if it's it. warmish, it's really nice, isn't it? So, let's just hope this weather continues till then. I don't like it because the one, the one, the one last October, it was fucking yeah, freezing, freezing wasn't it? <laughs> Fuck me, we we didn't want to go outside, did we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you to be honest. Stay indoors. And yeah, done. everyone was going to bed at six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the sun goes down, right? Ask me to bed. Yes, Ken, vaping with Ken. This is the Kelpie. I need to bring my fucking camera thing back up again because Logitech. Hi, Vaping so um, with CJ. Comes to the driver. Oh, i got to see the Kelpie. Give Ken a close up just to piss him off because he can't buy one yet because I'm evil that way. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. You got to zoom in. What's up, vaping with Ken yeah. in the house? My question is is that is that the first one off the production line? Yes. Maybe the second. Yeah, he's got the triple O one, mate. Is that, is, that the, is that the first? Can't M1? see it, Vic. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Vic, get that on eBay. SN00001. That'll pay for your retirement. Well, there's one better <laughs> than that. This one. Prototype. This one. Is this a, is this a prototype? Yeah. Oh, blank. God. Yeah. Prototype. Yep. Completely blank. Is that that larger one as well, Vic? Yeah, this is the original prototype and the release version. Oh, yeah, tall. Ooh. Definitely tall. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing the e capacity is the same, though. Yeah, Ooh, no, this is less. This is less, eh? No? Yeah, because the tank's smaller. <laughs> one, I got to get one, I got to get one. Vic, did you see what Jonathan just said? No, 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 no. <laughs> so what did he say? <laughs> is that the new smart tank? <laughs> <laughs> right, where's a moderator when you didn't get banned? <laughs> banned. I think the only mod I've got in here is bloody gone to bed. Didn't Tony <laughs> ever hear you? <laughs> oh, we've, we have got Goober and Lisa's in there as well. She can sort them out. Phoenix, mate, what do you guys do in your spare time when you're not reviewing? Do you have hobbies and other interests? Right, let's go around the board then. Let's start off with Scott's reviews because he's uh, our guest. <laughs> I fucking knew you were going to start with <laughs> <laughs> What do I do when I'm not reviewing? Quite a lot, to be honest, because I don't review that often. Um, reviewing is very much a side hobby for me at the minute. It's not a full-time job like Vic or anything like that. So I don't I do not do it every single day. No. Spare time, what do I do in my spare time? I do a lot of stuff. Uh, video games, I've got a huge interest in cars, rebuilding cars. I've got a bit, uh, this, this, this car sitting outside, which are in bits, which need fixed, which reminds me that a guy who wants to pay 170 quid to fix this. The front suspension on one of them so um cars video games are you a mechanic as well then can you put stuff together as well or... uh, well i wouldn't trust me to put it back together but i'll try yeah <laughs> um i've repaired all the things on cars i know my way around a car mechanically but i wouldn't trust me to fix it put it that way fair enough yeah at least it's not a spanner <laughs> you and i are very similar in that aspect there uh scott's yeah. review yeah, like I know my way around an engine. I know what does what. But if someone there came to me and said, "Can you fix this?" I'll be like, hey, "You better put it in the garage." To be honest, I'll well, give it depends it. on what it is. Is that really Lisa? She was called what's what is what's in a name a minute ago. Is this a clone Lisa we've got in it? <laughs> clone Lisa. Oh, this is clone Lisa. She was a spanner until she changed her name. That's what's happened. Yep. She's just changed yeah. her name. So I've just I didn't realize that removes the spanner if you change the channel. Well, that. I don't know. Speak again in chat, at least, just to make sure. It did, I just added you as a moderator, so it should have done. What's up, Chunk? Right. How's, so... how's Mark doing, by the way? Was Mark not meant, not meant to be on tonight? Yeah. 
I don't know what. You... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know because Mark did say he said I <laughs> one of his vague uh, messages. He should be on. Uh, I'll let you know later. And... and then he asked me if I would give him a blowjob at the expo, and I said maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kind of left so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, so he said, I'll let you know later. And I said, well, how likely is it going to be? Because I'm going to put the thumbnail up and I don't want to put your logo on if you're not coming on. And he goes, oh, likely. But that was it. So there you go. There you are. She's got her spanner back. All right, who's next for the... Uh, yeah, who's next? Sorry, event. let's go on to Vic because he's the other guest for tonight. Reviews, reviews, and more reviews. <laughs> yeah, when I'm not reviewing, I worry about not reviewing. <laughs> no, but no. Um, during the summer months, but a lot of people notice that kind of June, June, July, and August, I vanish from social media because I'm right on the coast here, the Firth of Clyde. I like a bit of deep sea fishing. That's what I do to pass the time. If I can't do a deep sea fishing, I usually go for a day license and do a bit of fly fishing in the River Irvine or tributaries. If I can't be fuck fishing, games right fact it's funny you mentioned that because i'm a huge fisherman myself so we got to go fucking fly fishing at some point then we go down yeah, officially right. sounds Get good to me trout. yep yes it's, i must admit I've been, i haven't been fishing that many times but i like uh i have been sea fishing what what are you catching like conger uh, eels and stuff like guys, that Vic? guys streams froze oh, is it I mean, yeah. I've never been. Yeah. I've never been deep sea fishing myself, but I've done a lot Shit. of fly fishing. A lot of fly fishing. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Rainbow trout and uh, mainly in fucking uh, freshwater rivers and brown trout and fisheries and stuff like that. So... Right, hang on, and go. I'm gonna have to fucking. They can still hear us. They just can't see us. Everything video what related has been frozen. Really? Has it? Oh yeah, and I've got a really goofy look on my face as well. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? <laughs> Look at me uh, contemplating who I'm going to kill next. <laughs> I just got that creepy <laughs> face like I am clocking. <laughs> just, just see Goober in the top right, just kind of <laughs> over the New York skyline. <laughs> I, I, that, like, I think I'm going to have to redo the Zoom, guys. Can't.
Okay. Welcome back. There he Mike. is. There's Mike. Can't hear him now. You see his oh, face is go. red. Yeah. The veins are busting out there above the <clears> eyebrows. <throat> Fuck knows what happened. <laughs> He's looking a little red in the cheek. And we're back on the stream. There we go. It's okay. I was, I was actually quite calm there, but I don't know what happened. I think. I, I was kind of hoping for a meltdown, Mike, to be honest. I can't witness no, this shit. That, that's and just... we're not frozen either. Are we still on yeah, YouTube? That's, that's the thing. I yes, think, I life. think so, yeah. Yeah, you've kept on streaming. We're back. Yeah. And we're everyone not... says we're back, yeah. Yeah, once, you know, I've had this experience before, so I didn't panic. I just carried on going. That's what you can do. I turned the microphone off. That's not your fucking hang. I can't believe you're all here. I couldn't find the fucking meeting again. <laughs> anyway. we so... fuck this jump. We're out. So like we were talking about hobbies and five minutes, yeah. sea fishing and shit like that. Um, but yeah, I, I've been a few times, bit where you use mackerel to catch conger eels and that, and I loved it. We used to oh like, have god, a... conger fishing is piss easy. Yeah, there's yeah, on the on south coast where I am, like there's um, quite a few of them uh, out there yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. the port, the port of Troon, there's there's there's, there's Troon Marina where all the posh bastards with their fucking yachts hang out yeah. and then there's the Troon Pier with the lighthouse at the end all you need to do is get a little spinning rod catch a single mackerel gut it slice yeah. it wrap a bit of that in a big fucking hook and just throw it over the edge of the yeah. count literally count to 30 yeah. and you will get a massive conger eel on the, at the end of that rope I need to try that. I need to try that at some point. The thing is, conger eels scare the shit out of me. Yeah. They really do. Later, I've never caught one. Never had an experience of one. So tell you what, the mackerels are nice, though. I prefer... Like, we used to take a little portable barbecue on there and cook Ooh. them up. Fucking <laughs> yeah. beautiful, mate. Um, Can't beat fresh mackerel. Yeah, but you, is you put them on the... Because I don't know much about it, but it, it, isn't it called fly fishing when you're putting them on all those uh, multi-hooks, Vic? Uh, when mm. you're putting them... What do they call it? So you're putting, it like, like you say, the strips of mackerel on there. And um, and then you obviously get the bigger fish as well. Like you get dogfish, things like that, which aren't particularly that great to eat. But um, bream, sea bream yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, but, yeah, it's um, it's great fun. If you get a day like today, you go out there, have a couple of beers, barbecue oh, yeah. on the boat. Fantastic it's, do you know what I mean? Fantastic day. Yeah. I went fishing a couple of days ago. No. Really yeah. relaxing. Yeah. And the weird thing is, is when talking about inland stuff, um, you usually you would use a metal detector to find treasures. The weird thing was, was that today I found a metal detector in a bush next to my house. I don't know what it was. A metal detector. A full-on 130-pound metal detector in the bush. I, I took it in the house. I changed the batteries in it, and it works. So it's mine now, I guess. I don't know. What the hell? Aye, metal detector in the bush outside. I don't know if maybe it's rot. It's pro Someone's probably got boggled recently. Missing a metal detector. So I might need to tweet out about it and be like, is that I'm missing a metal detector? I need to go blade because I found one next to us. But um, I, I just found that funny how you, you use a metal detector to find things, but today I found a metal detector. <laughs> <laughs> Irish, turn oh. the mic off after only saying cunt. Yeah, I said it once and then thought, hang on a minute, I better turn the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, here we go again. Deja vu was creeping in. It's a shame if I wear a make down make hoodie to the expo, will you sign it? I've, if you, anyone wears one of them to the expo, yeah, I'll buy you a beer, but um, you have to buy well, one. So better, someone has to buy right? one. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take a, a tenant's a super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, so. We're on to let's have Goober next, shall we? Uh, let's see here. Spare Fishing, time. Video games. Oh shit! A little bit of hiking now and then. Camping. Camping really depends on the involved. weather. Used to love the great, camping. The great outdoors is just um, it's the gift that never keeps uh, it keeps on giving, isn't it? Really, the outdoors, the great outdoors. The thing is, is that I went to Peebles last year. Peebles is a, a, a little town kind of in the Scottish borders. Within an hour of getting there, a massive cloud of these weird... I've never witnessed them before. Giant flies. Oh, fuck. Not midges, but bigger. Yeah. Came, came out the woodland, slowly started making their way towards us. And the next thing I know, I'm covered and they're all biting me. I don't know what the fuck they are. Big things. Like, horse like, flies. Like, huge things. Aye, horse yeah, flies. Yeah, horse flies. Hell, they bite, don't they? They were vicious. And yeah. this was within an hour of being there. They were eating us alive. 
Uh, but yeah, Gooba's right. Camping, video games, fishing. It's basically my top three, to be honest. Pavel's carry on, Goobs. Carry on. That That's it. Oh, and yes, yeah, Vapy Noob said world domination. Well, no, that's always a plus in it. It's just a, just a bit extra. <laughs> I had a guy join one of my live streams a couple of weeks ago that was putting in the chat that he was he wanted to, to be minute. remembered he wanted to be remembered by history as changing the world and becoming like a world leader or something I don't know what the fuck he was talking about but he was, he was one ball head away from public shooter status oh, so fuck. I was kind of concerned about him um, I never heard him from him again after that, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. Cool, UK. He's off. Right. Nice one. Cheers, Ryan. Thanks for popping in, brother. Later, buddy. Uh, what, what's Pav G? He's not on Facebook or something. What did Lisa say? Pav, ask Mike to show you at Expo. I don't know what that is, but uh, I'll have to find out, I suppose. I'm planning on getting Mike drunk at Expo. He will show me a lot more then. <laughs> fucking hell, I'm getting a bit worried here. We've got fucking Beezy coming as well. Day. Yeah, that's the best way to start saying. Mike, when you're at Expo, watch what you drink. Yeah, I think Hashtag it... closet CBW. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't want anyone spiking <laughs> drink. What do you mean you're sure you will? What what are you talking about? Anyway, let's move on. Right. So have, have you are you carrying on with your um thingies, uh, <laughs> I'm good. You're... I think Chris is the last one. Yeah, I'll bring it back. He's gone. Oh, Scott's review's gone. Right, uh, oh, Chris, then, buddy. Well, actually, what Vic said is actually kind of a real thing concerning myself with reviewing when I'm not reviewing. Um, I do a lot of like video work when I'm off camera, uh, or not video work, photo work, um, video games, fishing freshwater fishing um mm. yeah we do a lot of camping in the spring and the summertime i like the outdoors enough yeah i like the outdoors as well man i i'm, oh. I'm staying away from all you fuckers if you've got chloroform and stuff like that so yeah. oh jesus yeah mike smell this rag yeah exactly <laughs> fucking hell you weirdos <laughs> <laughs> Might have been pissed after 30 minutes. I'm not pissed now. I know how to take it easy, TBD. I won't be oh, starting sorry. too early in the day. I was not the one who was pissed last time. It was bloody... Oh, what, are you saying, Mike? what are you saying? Saying I can't hold my liquor? <laughs> They're saying I'll be... <laughs> TBD saying I'll be pissed after 30 minutes, cheeky sod. I'll be staying on coffee until 4 o'clock. You know what? I got to say, due to Chris Empire Vape Code's suggestion... I tried this stuff, the uh, squeezed green apple. Right. Oh, my God. It is really good. And I'm not a fan of culotta, but it seems like they put culotta in all of their juices. And it's nice and smooth. It's not overpowering at all. Oh, my fucking God, Ken. Liz, for an extra beer, I'll be your bodyguard. Yeah, I might have to take you up on that one. I was going to say that. I didn't want to go over the top. If I took you camping and you woke up with a sore ass and condom in it, would you tell anyone? Fucking hell. Yeah. I'm glad you're not a fucking expo, what? Ken, I'll tell you. Tell <laughs> I Damn it. Uh, H-bomb vapor, welcome. At expo, Mike, don't forget vaping with Vicky's pain. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> Actually, technically, well, yeah, technically I am. That's what the beer fund's for. Yeah. Yeah, but not for everybody, is it? No, no, not for everybody. No, it's for the UK vape show and certain friends and people that show up in the shops. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to be bankrupt at the end of yeah. fucking expo. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> My vapes want to go camping. <laughs> uh, be a beer fund oh, today. Ken, yeah, I'd love to, great. mate. Yeah, at when should we book on it, bro? <laughs> oh, shit. Hell yes. Yeah, Gail, get Lisa to change her mind and tell her to come. Oh, is Lisa not going? Yeah, uh, she doesn't want to go, so... Oh. She's got exams coming up as well. She's still doing this Silex course, so... Right. They're coming up in, like, May, June time, so... Yeah, I still want to change her mind, but uh, we'll have to see, won't we? 
And uh, Neil Cousins, favourite doctors, John Pertwee. That killed the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that are no, you... doctors is in Doctor Who or like actual real life doctors? I'm not quite uh, sure. Doctor Who. You're Doctor um, Who. you're younger than me though, Vic, and I I sort of remember Tom Baker more myself. Uh, did you actually I, watch them? I I started watching it during Tom Baker's last season, going into Peter Davis in the Wet Vet. Right. But right. I've got all of the Doctor up all from William Hartnell all the way up to the latest episodes because <coughs> Torrent. <coughs> And John, <laughs> John Pert, we done the whole <laughs> karate thing. That's right, yeah, the karate yeah. stuff. Yeah, so You're going to call me a heretic, but I've never watched a Doctor Who episode. Kick him out no, of the show. Kick You're him. not a heretic, <laughs> you're just a heathen. You, you <laughs> i got to find a way to binge watch it all. Should be a Netflix. Yeah, Net- ah, yeah, Netflix. Yeah. At least, at least the first what forty-seven seasons, maybe on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the last one you got to pay for, though. Give your license, mm-hmm. mate. Give the money. <laughs> Does anyone not watch Doctor Who? Um, I'm not a huge Doctor. Who. I know the Doctors, and I've seen a few episodes of each series, but I'm. I'm Personally, I'm not a huge Doctor Who fan. Personally. I'm not either. But I did used to watch it when I was younger. Tom Baker and Peter Davison and stuff like that. And then I sort of missed it for ages and ages until um, was it David Eccleston? Is it David? Chris Eccleston. Chris Eccleston. Yeah, that was actually <laughs> quite a good one, actually. And then uh, who's the other bloke? The one after him. David Tennant. Yeah, he was good as well. So I did watch the odd ones, but I've never really kept up with it. But um, the last one. What was the one before the last one? Matt not, Smith. Not the woman. Yeah, I didn't like him. Is he yeah, the one, the old Smith. bastard? He was the one that came after David Tennant, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like him. So uh, the, 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 new, the new series was Christopher Eccleston, then it was David Tennant. Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith... Peter Capaldi, the old Peter guy. Capaldi, oh, he's the one right. yeah. the woman. Yeah. The Scottish guy. Peter Cap- the Scottish guy. Capaldi, aye. Um, I've not watched any of the new season at all, to be honest. Oh, tell her, me. Emily. Tell Lisa that you've got to take a break from your studies. <sighs> Ken yeah. says, sadly, Netflix doesn't carry Doctor Who anymore. Now you got to stream it on Amazon Prime. Oh, uh, Pav, pa- right. Pav, fuck off. <laughs> Speaking of something vape related, has anyone here tried the Brunhilde RTA by Vapefly? Uh, I've got the review up next week. Oh, have you? How, I have it. Without without any spoilers or anything, what's your general thoughts on it, Vic? It's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping I, I didn't want to hear Felix this because I've got one coming. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky, va- Kentucky Vapor. Kentucky Vapor. Kentucky Vapor. I must thank you so much. Bear wants to say big thank you to on the for us all on there. Cheers, uh, Kentucky. Awesome job you've done, brother. And congratulations on 24 hours because it's not yeah. easy. The most I've done is 12, and that's it. When I got to 12, I was like, fuck you, I'm out of my bed. I think <laughs> mine was a long time. Five hours 51, I think, is my limit. But that was on my own, so it was quite a marathon. That's a long time for a solo stream, to yeah. be honest. Five hours, yeah. I Jesus. think Goober's fucking beaten that as well, haven't you, Goob? Uh, Goober, what's seven. yours? Seven? Jesus, that's yeah. a. That's almost a, a full shift. Seven just hours on your own. I couldn't just do over that. Just seven hours. Yeah, I would, I would, I would drag myself insane. I do an hour and a half twice a week, and sometimes I think that's too long. Yeah, everyone in chat, uh, if you want Lisa to come to Expo, put a, a X one. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going in IX1. We've got to get Lisa there. You don't have to come in all the time. You can sit in the bloody hotel room. Let me piss off at 10 in the morning. <laughs> Thank you, you even had one. What? <laughs> yeah, of course I did. <laughs> and, He's like, uh, honey, I want you to come come with me. <laughs> You've had plenty of time to, the to study. Show. To the show. That sounded very wrong unless I added that in there. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I... Cheers, Nature Vape. He's put an X one in. I think it was season two or season three of the ones I, I saw of Doctor Who. It's... 
It's Not coming. It's coming season soon, two isn't it? Season three. It's not next weekend. It's the one after, isn't it? It's early this year, Vic, isn't it? It wasn't. It wasn't the beginning of May. It was the end of May, I think, last yeah, year. Yeah, it's it? usually the, the, the kind of chop and change. It's usually the bank holiday at the end, or yeah. the bank holiday at the beginning of oh, May. Right. This thing is the bank holiday at the beginning. Two seconds. One, two. You're not back yet. You're fired. Exactly, <laughs> Gail. She could do the studying in the day and then come out for a couple in the evening. There you go. Isn't that most? Isn't that how most students do it? Study during the day. Well, they probably get... just go out in the day as well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. We'll study at the pub. Yeah, I mean, it's not as if you need to hang around inside the expo, Lisa. You can hang because it's the, the weather's going to be. Hopefully, fingers fucking crossed. Touch wood. I don't jinx it. The weather's going to be pretty good. Well, oh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, for everyone that's going to the expo, the weather's going to be good. So you can hang around outside and, you know, just chill out. Okay, um, because the thing is, at least she likes uh, uh, history and stuff. And actually, she likes to see all the, the... There's a load of history in uh, the Birmingham area, isn't there? Loads of, um, uh, I don't know, is there castles, things like that around or not? Well, it's the centre of the canal network. Centre of the I, canal yeah, network. Yeah, yeah actually... The dead the... centre of the canal network. If you follow the canal network, there's fucking historical buildings all over the place yeah. in Birmingham. That's the I... thing. I've still never been to Birmingham personally. I've drove past it many times because when you when you're coming from the south up to Scotland, you always go yeah. past Birmingham, and yeah. there's one bit of Birmingham. If you're in the wrong lane, you end up in Birmingham city centre. Yeah, you've got to be in the right lane, otherwise you're screwed. And um, so I've Castle. never actually been to Birmingham myself, but I'll be there in October. There you go, Warwick Castle. That's um, the one she wanted to go and see. But Warwick. I was going to say I'm going to be there from Thursday to I've booked the hotel for four days, so. You know, I could just, we could actually go out and do that. So I don't have to be in the expo building all the time anyway. So that's what I mean. Yeah. Like, um, we don't have to be in there. The Friday is the one I want to go in there, the B- B2B, and then the Saturday as well. Like, um, so, and it doesn't have to be all day. So I mean, the Friday is the industry day, right? It is, yeah. but I, I quite yeah. enjoyed that last time because it wasn't as busy. Yeah, no, I'd probably be the same because I have huge crowds, to be honest. You can hear yourself talk and um, have a f- chat uh, with people. And uh, you, people with VIP tickets w- will be in there anyway for the three the, the people who bought the whole what's it. But on the main day, it does get a little bit busy. Yeah, but it on, is on the, main, <laughs> on the main day on Saturday, you've got the fake DJs thinking they yeah. can bust out a tune and they fucking can't. They just you've can't. Got, and you you get... have people like you have people like Gadget Hunter saying that Vic's hogging the bar. <laughs> 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 There's our throwback for you. <laughs> Floating around like I own the place. <laughs> oh, Christ, I remember that one. <laughs> Irish, it's the first time Mike has ever won an argument. Well, has Lisa changed her mind uh, live yeah. on YouTube? All right, I'm going to hold her to that, and you lot have got to back me up on this. Yeah, yeah officially. It'll said be in uh, law yeah, this world. Witnesses. Yeah, it wouldn't be the same without you, Lisa. You've got to come, Lisa. Not to say, you don't okay, have to I'll get... come and bring my books, he said. Yeah, of course you can. But like I say, because I want to actually get up. I, I wouldn't, I'd I got over there a bit late last time. I wasn't getting up till late, but... Just don't smack Mike again. Don't what? Don't smack Mike again. I've, I've shut it. Who put that? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> CG Expo is four days. How do you know about it? <laughs> We've talked about that before with TVP. Yeah, I know. He brought that one up, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, she did. She inadvertently twatted me in the mouth and uh, <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. But how, Stuart? She says it was an accident. Yeah, that's why I said inadvertent. She didn't mean to hit me, but she did actually throw the fist in my face direction, which was probably what a lot of people would like to do. But <laughs> Northern, Northern, stop seeing them buying drinks for everyone. Fuck off, Northern. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the fucking prices that's what i was saying when whoever said it's it earlier expensive. if if <laughs> what do they sell what do they sell there Realize. well they've got a witherspoons there and there's a bar inside well there's two bars actually inside the expo itself but it's fucking expensive well fuck you so where we have spoons you get a pet attendance for like yeah. what two pounds something no but not, it's not 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 in the expo not, witherspoon no, no. no witherspoons fucking... you, witherspoon you go for just a pint of lager you're paying almost a fiver Holy shit. That's what I, I know thought. I mean, then. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, we're used to those prices down south as well, though. Uh, Not you know what I mean? fucking up here. 
How much are you paying for a pint? You used to be able to get a, f- a full fucking a, f- a full a full uh, round for a whole table for less than a tenner. Yeah, I feel like you can't yeah, do that. I don't I go can out. Walk, so. I can walk into the Turf Hotel, which is not really a hotel; it's a bar, which is just round the corner from me. Pint of Guinness, pint of Guinness, and a, a pint of Guinness and a shot of a shot of Laphroaig Ten for about four pound ninety. Yeah, which is no bad. So that's a single malt shot, shot. ten-year-old single malt shot, and a pint of Guinness. Yeah. I walked. I went fucking down there. Walked up to the fucking bar, and it was like pint of your. I fucking felt like saying it to, but (laughs) pint of lager. That'll be five pound. Get yourself to fuck. That's what I felt like. Yeah, I think we need to try and smuggle some cans in or something. (laughs) I think it was. I'll be bringing the bottles of Buckfast in. To be honest. Oh Jesus, Buckfast. Oh, need to go to Asda and get some in the evening, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I mean. Even in the uh, Premier Inn, it's expensive as well. That's yeah. What, can, you can spend a fucking pretty fortune just on just having a few drinks and food and that, can't you? That's yeah. the thing is, um, I'd probably drink before I went in and I'd get I'd get so pissed to the point I probably would not be allowed in. <laughs> right, you're bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you just... Uh, during the daytime, though, we just have one or two anyway. I wouldn't want to yeah. spend any more in there but in the, the may one though because it's open late you can go to asda and bring a load of beer back and sit on the, the picnic tables and that yep. so you can get around it that way so you don't have to keep going to the bar because otherwise it is a fucking pricey weekend mm-hmm. i feel like at scratch review I feel like i'm stalking you today because <laughs> you are you followed me into every live stream i've been on <laughs> yeah, it's about time you got on the live stream as well, ABC. Exactly. ABC, come on, Keaton. You are more than welcome to come on here, Kieran. And so we will have words if you want to come on this show. I know you're not going to want to tonight, but I would love you to come on this show with us. <laughs> He'd like you to be on the show with us. Yeah. <laughs> Mind out the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> my mind's always in the gutter. I, I need to fill my bottles up. Hold on. All right, Trigger Vapes. Thanks for tuning in tonight, buddy. And I expect you'll be at Expo, Expo, won't you, Trigger? So we'll see you there, mate. As it's not next weekend, it's the one after. So. We are going to do another show next week. Flat Cab has agreed to come on the show. So, oh, Gaz. Gaz is a yeah, guy. Looking forward to, to that. So, yeah, we've got Flat Cap next week. Mark and uh, Sean might turn up uh, next week as well. I they was might... hoping to see Mark tonight <laughs> because he was in my live stream chat talking about, like I said, he was he was talking about giving me a blowjob at the expo. Or uh, what, he was in yours earlier? He was in mine earlier in my live chat. Where the and fuck he, is he, he, then? He, t- he tipped me two pounds through Super Chat and said, blow at the expo, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I, mean, I, I agree can do, to yeah. it because like, you know it's Mark um, and then he kind of disappeared after that so I'm not sure but that is weird I was, I was hoping he would have been on tonight with you guys yeah well, <gasps> like I say I thought they were they did say they were so hence I did say I tried to get so I know who's going to be on it so I don't put people's logos on when they're not going to be on it because I don't want to false right. advertise that there's going to no, be no yeah it was kind of kind of my fault because I did tell you before that I wouldn't be on and then I kind of yeah. was on so. uh, yeah so yours isn't on here but there's yeah. two is and they're not on here but Vic did say he'd probably be, be late so but he's turned up so big I big saw, love to I that I saw Vic on Kentucky so that's a huge fucking bottle Vic Jesus Jesus <laughs> that 500 milliliter yeah, five hundred. That's the that's the uh, the watermelon. That's the peach custard. Ooh, it's dark. Well, you need to remember, I go through about a hundred ml of juice a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that earlier, weren't we? Had MF yeah. vape. In other words, TVP is too drunk to turn his PC on. Lol. Yeah, he probably him. is actually. <laughs> or he's had a little nap that he likes to do. <laughs> hey, vaping builder, what's going on, man? Vaping builder, what's going on? What's up, builder? Not a sea in sight. <laughs> Do you mix your own uh, scots? Uh, when it comes to mixing e liquid, the closest I've ever gotten was using bottle shots. You know, so kind yeah. of a, bo- a bottle with like 20 or 30 mil with flavor concentrate in, and then you just pop the VGPG ratio in and give it a shake. Yeah. That's the closest I've ever gotten. That's what I've so got I've, tonight. I've not, yeah, I've not really mixed my own liquid, to be honest. This stuff from Nature Vape. 
the mm. review would be up when I've done it, but he's given me some Nick shots. So I've got my own VG and PG, but you get these little card things because this is really for beginners who want to get into yeah. doing it. That and I think it's a, table is a yeah, fantastic idea. It's an awesome idea. And these are Jack mm. Rabbit vapes, I think, the concentrates, he said. And I've got Blackjack, you know, the old fruity sweets, the penny oh, cheese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Blackjack's one piece sweets for the local shop. Yeah, yeah fuck me. I, I've put it in here. Uh, admittedly, I haven't tried the K Fun with anything else apart from this juice. And it's awesome, the flavor. It's not too sweet as well. Because I'm not a great juice r- reviewer, but I know what I like. And I don't. Mm-hmm. I find them overly sweet a lot of these, and they gunk your cores up too quickly. But hence, I mix my own quite a lot and don't put any sweetener in. But this one is actually a really nice. It just tastes like the blackjacks. Uh, yeah. Reminds you of a kid. Do you know what I mean? It's a bloody nice little vape I'm getting. But you Neil Cousin says, "Can't see how Vic goes through that amount of day." I can, Easy to be chain, honest. Basically. Yeah. Well, not only that, but Vic could maybe take maybe. You know, testing three, four, five atomizers at the same time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When when I'm doing reviews and recording, I go through shit loads as well. Mm-hmm. But I haven't had anything in uh, for a week or so. It all quietened down, like what you were saying, Vic. I, I had quite a bit coming in, and, and then suddenly I got nothing. <laughs> but, it's but, picked up uh, for me for the for yeah. the past couple of weeks. I've been getting quite a lot of stuff. In. Yeah, mine came in early, but um, like because I was getting the Vaporesso stuff, and I noticed that Chris Empire's just um got his in the other day and i was thinking i had that about two months ago so it's weird isn't it how they different reviewers get it in at different times yeah yeah but, i i the last thing the last hardware item i got in was the advocate dark mesh tank and i get that Ad, advocate well, well, messaged me and said what the owl can you, can you review the owl tank yeah. and i said yeah that's fine and then they sent me the dark mesh so i don't really oh right they, they do that they get mixed up sometimes i've noticed that with advocate they do yeah it's fine either way. I mean, I'll, at the end of the day, I never paid for that, and I'm happy to to receive it for for the purpose of a review. Of a review but yeah, the whole I had a whole email conversation with them about the about this owl tank that was coming out, and the next thing I know, I've got a dark mist tank. And I'm thinking, what the fuck's a dark mist tank? So I had to look yeah. up on that. Dark mesh, eh? What's all that? Dark about? mesh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's I don't, know what the dark, a, I don't know what the dark means. So the dark, yeah, I don't know dark the web. <laughs> it's just advocating trying to cash in in the stock coil mesh sub ohm tank craze. That's all they're doing. <laughs> yeah, they all have to join in, don't they? Yeah, so I was um, hoping to have the Zeus X, but that uh, didn't turn up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's coming on Tuesday instead, and hopefully the Kelpie will come next week. And I've also got those Steam Crave things as well. I should I should have the Kelpie coming next week as well. If uh, Nature Vip said the stock's in two days, what Monday or Tuesday, Easter Bank holiday weekend, so I'm not expecting it to dispatch until Tuesday or Wednesday. So end of yeah. next week, hopefully, uh, Kelpie should be delivered. I'm looking forward to trying that. Yeah, I'm I'm very looking forward to trying that one. Squeaky my... bum time. Yeah. Squeaky bum time. <laughs> Squeaky bum time. CBT. I think if we've, uh, I did actually watch your uh, video on that one, Vic. Uh, so I've seen how you wick it. Uh, to be honest, I did that with the the wasp nano. I wicked it very similar. Yeah. Because it's got those. It's got the. Um, you know your juice wells. They they haven't got the ring round them, have they? Yeah, they're wide open. Kind of yeah, so you dam, can put them really dam. short. And this yeah. I found as well because when you put the top cap on, it sort of pushes them down a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. But you were saying if you've got a thicker, no, was it thicker liquid? The Max VG. Max you, VG. You, you, you were need to sort be a bit more careful. Yeah, you were pushing it in from the bottom one. You to sort of proper yeah. dam it up so it doesn't. Uh, doesn't pull down when you put the cap on is that right so you've got you've imagine imagine you're looking from the top you're looking above the deck there's the juice well right so the juice well is here and what you want to do when you when you're wicking it you want to get the bottom of the wick push the bottom of the wick inwards so it does that yeah so it covers up the back end of the well and then yeah. you fold the rest of the cotton down, so there's no chance of it flooding because you've pushed the bottom end of the cotton inwards. Yeah, you got the proper the dam going, dam haven't you? Yeah, proper dam. dam. I also like the idea about the 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 kind of the bottom airflow having the holes right under the coil, slightly smaller diameter than the coil to the yeah, to the it's interesting to create that pressure under the coil. I like that idea as well. Yeah, and Stuart's just said Vic will be tech support next week. Definitely. Oh, shit. He's gonna get. He's gonna get so many comments. I bought your kelpie, and this is this thing's wrong with it, and that thing's wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> I bought your kelpie, and it's a pile of fucking shit, mate. <laughs> uh, 
sound like someone we know. But there's the um, Mark's put his notes in the chat there for you, guys. Nine pound on fast tech. Kill- uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, there'll be a Kelpie fucking clone it, probably something, to be honest. And for us US <laughs> residents, it is not the Kelpie. It's not the kale pie. I am me to, I am just the kale pie. Kind of the to try and pronounce it. I am just waiting. Uh, Nature Vape will have it. Yeah, Nature Vape have the pre-orders up there now. Um, Nature Vape was in my stream early. He said the stainless steel will be in stock today and the black ones will be in stock two days from now. So, Nature Vape have it in pre-order. Chris Empire Vape Co. has it in pre-order. And Heaven Gifts have got it in pre-order as well, which I'm surprised at. Heaven's Gifts, I was actually going to try them before Nature Vape, but Nature Vape had a, had to kill me up before the, what they did. So Yeah, that's because me and me and Mark cut a deal uh, mm-hmm. from Nature Vape to put the pre-order up quicker for the patrons. Yeah. yeah right. That's where I pre-ordered it from anyway, and I, and I trust them anyway because I, I hear nothing but good things about Nature Vape, so I'm, I'm fine with pre-ordering it from them. Leon, any of you guys got the bulk RTN yet? Feel like you may have overpriced because Fagan's name on it. Oh, Mine hope. is arriving. My bulk should be arriving next week. Egan contacted me for my address. The bulk. I feel like Umi has gone on a bit of a. They've went a bit crazy with the whole YouTuber collaboration thing, haven't they? Because they had uh, Demi Demi Crazy Damper or something with oh, the yeah. armadillo. Armadillo. And then they, and then they, <laughs> the on the inside. The armadillo, and then they had uh, <laughs> Fagan with the the bulk. The bulk seems pretty interesting, and I, I have yeah, someone I'm, who's. Someone I know that's tried the bulk said it's on par, if not better, than the Wasp Nano RTA. Is which it? They recently released. That's what I heard. I've not tried it yet, so I can't say for it's sure. It's a dual core, though, so I yeah, like the look ju- of it. Dual versus single. It's a little bit... Yeah, I, I think it. it, it I'd pro- probably compare it with a Zeus X, something like that, because I yeah, do think definitely. you do get... Yeah, definitely. 2, Zeus X. That's what, I would have, that's what I would compare that to. Because I do think the Glass V2 has got better flavour than the Wasp Nano myself. I think you're getting crisper flavour. The Nano is really good, but I don't like the top cap on it, really. Because yeah. it feels like you're giving it's it a, a blowjob. It's so, a proprietary jet that's on that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It annoys me a little bit, but it is a nice, you can't knock the flavour on it. It is good, but it just wasn't my favourite tank just because it's got a couple of issues. Uh, is that the the Nunchako you've got it on? The Nunchako yeah, it is. It looks, mm-hmm. it looks pretty cool in the stainless steel, though. It looks it? good. It matches it, it well, yeah. Yeah, I thought the Nunchako is all right if you're using it under 40 watts because I've only got this at about 40 watts, mm-hmm. so it's all right. But you've only got a single 18650, so you're not going to get the best battery life. Steam Crave is life. Steam Crave's release a lot of... Uh, High quality, well machined atomizers. Definitely. Steam Crave is the only company out there that goes fuck you, TPD. Yeah, <laughs> they, just don't care. they don't care. Because I had a, I had, I had a Titan, the forty one mil Titan. Yeah, I haven't and, tried uh, that, but that's that got great. good flavor, isn't it? Apparently, the Titan it, it does. Yeah, the size of the it. Tank, it does. I like the, I like the modular build deck on the Titan. How you yeah. can have it in the kind of velocity style posts or. Clamp style, well, not clamp style, but drop style, and you know what I mean. I like that. I like the build deck design. On is there. that the one where you can have like change it from parallel to series build as well? Or was that on the yeah, plus? Yeah, that's or... right. That's on the Titan as well. Yeah. yeah. Was it on the plus as well, uh, Vic? The old. Uh, do you know you could change the post configuration or something? So you could wire it in series or parallel. I think so. Because I, I remember watching your review. Actually, that was fucking a long time ago now. Yeah. I know that they've done some really weird stuff with the decks, especially yeah. on the drippers. Yeah. And Gail, I, I, I think I gave you that Tupperware back, Gail. We put it in one of my mum's mm-hmm. Tupperwares. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Where's my Tupperware? <laughs> I gave you yeah, Gail, when Gail and Zan pop up for a visit, she bakes loads of scones for my mum. Oh, right. <laughs> but for my mum. I'm sure I give you that Tupperware bath. I'll need to go down and check. I'll need to go downstairs and check. Oh, you can't do it on the Plus. It must have been the Titan. I definitely saw it on one of the uh, reviews. Yeah. The uh, Titan definitely had the kind of series parallel. Yeah. Uh, it was the way you added in the... Um... The extra post screw or something. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vic, did you see what Andy uh, put on? Um, do you have a book running on which US reviewer is going to call it the Kelpi first? Well, apparently somebody said in chat that Fagan's already called it the Kelpi. <laughs> uh, I would have said Mike to be honest. I thought Mike Vapes might have called it the Kill Pie first. No, Mike actually watched the introduction video, so he knows how to pronounce it. He's educated then. <laughs> he does. 
<laughs> I think it's a good idea to watch um, the introductory video. Definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Like we said, it's not a review. It's just. I did on the top it's side not, because really, some, yeah. especially something that's sort of new technology, because otherwise you could be making the right hash of it. Because someone came mm-hmm. to me and said, "Did you see Vic reviewed his own RT?" And I'm thinking, "No, he didn't." And then they <laughs> linked me. They linked me that video, and I, and I remember thinking, "It's literally just a video of the build deck." And yeah, I must admit, deck. of all the introductory so videos. Even though Vic clearly says at least two or three times in the video, I'm not going to review my own RTA. He, uh, in his defence, he didn't say it was shit hot or anything like that, did he? Like, oh, a lot he of them do say I'm it. not... That was it. He showed it. It was an, an introduction. Show and tell, wasn't it? Um, yeah. it's not, some, some people who do their introductories, they say, the um, they do say, yeah, that... it's awesome flavour, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was the exact same thing that Bogan did when he released the, the version one of the Bonds. He did an introduction video on it and basically yeah. said, why... It was designed the way it was, and it's the yep. same thing. It's like the uh, Zach, who's Zach? The same thing that Vic did. <laughs> Zick. <laughs> Zach, <Vic> was Zach. Like... <laughs> Mike, you can buy a series deck for the plus. I got one. Great battery life. Love it. All right, nice one. I didn't know you could buy the series deck for the plus. In that, I've never tried the glass, the glass RT, or the other version too. I've never tried them. Oh, they do look quite good. Builder, if you don't want that u- unity and you still got it, hit me up. Shut up, Pav. <laughs> You're going to be at Expo, Pav. Please say yes. Oh, yeah, I fucking think he has. He's the one who said he was going to get his chloroform rag out of it. Oh, I <laughs> Does this smell like chloroform? Fucking, I'm, smell rag. I'm running Later, from everybody Gail. who comes up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Gail. Night, Gail. Cheers, Gail. Thanks for tuning Thank in. Thank you. Being a spanner tonight as well. I, th- I did notice you timed someone out earlier, I believe. So thanks for I love that. the spanners. You've got to appreciate the spanners. Yeah. All the spanners, in fact, tonight. I, th- I thought you were all gone to bed, but I'm seeing a few popping up. I think I've got about 40 spanners on my channel, to be honest. Yeah, I've got a few now. Jules is George, another I one. I don't have the rebirth out the year. was never sent that for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, I've not tried that one either. Oh, that's you right, get, the Rebirth RTA. Are you getting the RTA, um, Vic, as well, or not? Or, that's, it looks like I'm not getting it. Oh, right, you're not getting that one. What, did I you like get... the RDA, but I've, I've completely forgot about the RT version of it. Yeah, it's funny, because I have I get a few companies contacting me now, like Vaporesso or Vape do. They send me um, tanks and stuff like that, but not not many others do like geek vapes and uh vanny vape they're far too they seem to go to for the um bigger reviewers i think i don't yeah. know oh hell vape yeah but org vape have been very nice to me you know they're doing another they've got the um twisted messes ocular have you That's seen right, that yeah. And they said they're going to send me one of those so i'm looking forward to that org vape have been very good with me considering i had one, two. I had two Juga Foxes which broke, and then my, my co host had two which broke, and Ogmate were extremely uh, nice about replacing them. Yeah, well, I had a few and issues. And they've also sent me a lot well. of stuff in the past. Like, I had the, I had the VX200 kept to review, although yeah. I didn't I didn't completely agree with the whole disposable sub ohm tank. I didn't like that no, idea. No, the tank was a And even though I didn't like that idea, and I clearly stated that in the review, they were still very very accommodating about it yeah. i think they like the reviewer to be a reviewer they actually appreciate yeah. what you say don't they it seems i mean when i reviewed it if you watched my review there's a bit where i i felt i fill the tank up and i screw it on and me being the dumbass that i am i fired it at 75 watts without thinking as soon as i filled it up instantly burnt the coil so then after the after i did a close-up i'm like i would vape this but i burnt the coil so i need to track this whole thing away now so i never even got a single a single drag out of it Without, uh, ruining it, but it that's, wasn't that's a bad tank it, actually, the um, disposable one. But it's just, I just don't like any, anything like that, really. I don't like so wise, it was it wasn't too bad performance wise. Yeah. The flavor was all like I could taste my e-liquid. Yeah. that's what I could say. I could taste the e-liquid, and the cloud production is what you would kind of expect from a mesh coil. Head. Yeah, it, they, they they seem they work if you prime them up, they will work uh, for a good yeah. week or two. I did. Yeah. I did use what I did use the first one during the testing phase. Fine, but my main my main argument was similar to what a lot of other reviewers had echoed before about how the vape industry already produces a metric ton of waste. So, 
adding a disposable sub tank to that isn't really helping. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think it's just um, we're saying that some people like that. If you're on a, you know, some people like to just have convenience, and that's all it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, the... yeah. Convenience equals waste. No, yeah. to be honest. But it does. Uh, if you're anything like me, I think you could put a new coil in it. I'm thinking there's nothing wrong with that tank. So. What's up, Steve Nichols? I thought the, the tank itself was all right. They sent me the pink one. I don't know why they sent me the pink one, but I got the pink one. DB, best RDA to date. Um, it's a very subjective question, that one, so I'll let someone else answer it. I right. scored this point blank. Oh, really? <laughs> I haven't tried that. That's another company that won't ever talk to the me. The blank publicly. and the bunker on my hat list. Asmodus uh, are very good at knocking out high quality atomizers. Yeah, I best do like them. Me, for me personally, it's, t- it's really tough because I've tried a lot. I liked I like the deck design in the uh, what the fuck's it called the one by uh, Cheers Lethal. What the fuck's it called again? The Capstone. I like the deck design in the Capstone, but deck space is very limited. That's a Vandy yeah. vape job, isn't it? That's the Vandy vape one. Yeah, yeah, I haven't tried that. It's the one where you kind of unscrew and it's all spring loaded, so it's like a pyramid. All oh, right. Um, it's very good. The problem is the deck space is so limited you couldn't fit. A decent sized coil in without the coil touching the top cap. As soon as you just put the top cap. Oh, on. really? Uh, the Templar by Ogvate was also quite a good idea from what I found. That's another spring loaded kind of a, a dual coil idea. Performance yeah, wise, like... was all right. What I didn't like about it was how it had a little notch in the top cap where you had to yeah. line up with the deck in order to fit it on. But the problem yeah. is, there was nothing on the outside of the top cap to show you where that notch yeah. was. So you kind of spent ages like looking at the top cap and looking at the deck mm-hmm. and trying to line it up to fit it on. That's one uh, good thing about the dead, um, the drop dead, because yeah. you can sort of put that on as long as you're in the sort of right place. You can spin it round because exactly. it's got a lock on either side, and you can adjust the airflow to so mm-hmm. have it right in front of the coils. And I must admit, the drop dead is one of my favourite dual coil RDAs uh, uh, for flavour. Drop dead. I've got I've got yeah. the black drop dead. Yeah, I have. The I piano liked it black. a lot. The only thing I didn't like about it was how. The top cap has the design from the drop on it, like the cut out, but it's not actually cut out like the drop top. Yeah. Cap. It is a bit uh, weird how they had that on there. It's a strange it? one, yeah. yeah. I noticed it because I was like, oh, it's got it's got the cut out like the like the drop, so the airflow will always be perfect. And then I realized that it was literally just a lane. Yeah, but it's top. only because they could do that, like I was saying those, so you can actually because what it's for is if you're gonna restrict the airflow down, mm-hmm. uh, say you're Turn knocking off a few yeah. you can spin it around and it's a bloody good idea really but it was just a bit weird how they still had that like you said the, <laughs> the cut out bit on like there was, i feel like they added that in just as a throwback yeah they it. thought fuck what we're we gonna do with this we better just fill it in <laughs> i like i like the um i love the drop deck the drop deck is fantastic super fucking easy to build on because it's literally you drop your coils in you stick your cotton anywhere it doesn't it doesn't fucking matter where you put your cotton in the drop no. you just you just tough you, you just tuck it in and it's fine other ideas i've tried uh i know it's not a new one but the bonds are 1.5 the drop clamp system similar to the cheetah yeah i love how yeah. bogan incorporated that well on the original uh, uh bonds are it was the same i i thought that was an awesome one the original bonds are uh, yeah, great. Fantastic. If you like airy vape, you can have it quite airy and you can restrict it down. Really smooth airflow. Yeah. I still say if you had something similar to the drop, but you had the kind of T shaped airflow, or if you had the bonds, but had the T shaped airflow from the drop, that would have been a really good idea. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of the drop myself. I prefer the, really? yeah, I prefer the drop dead airflow. Because mm-hmm. uh, I quite like what I used to do with a drop was I would. Because you know how you could close each kind of lane off individually? Yeah, but I would have preferred it if that line, the T, was on the bottom. Because mm-hmm. then you can get the full airflow coverage underneath the core, the bottom. No, yeah. That's, do you know what I mean? The, the t- it was on the wrong place to me. Yeah, completely agree. Do you know and what I mean? the, the drop, what I used to do with the drop was I would completely close off the first two lanes, the first two rows. So it was just the six airflow yeah, air holes yeah, the six the pack, so yeah. as the airflow is coming in it's kind of coming in and hitting the coil yeah. from the other side and going up through the top cap and i found the flavor was really good yeah that's actually, what i did it was actually moog that told me to to close the the top the top two lanes off he said yeah. if you're getting a drop towards the close the top top two yeah because it was like it was in the wrong place you don't need all that airflow above the core exactly yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah but one one good one that not many reviewers have um had i don't think is the cheetah three by obs Oh, um, that's an old one. Well, it's not an oh, it's a, a newish one. It's the one with these squat. You know, like the Jay Hayes uh, 
Uh, what's this called? The, the not, Jenner? Not the Jenner, the other one. The 502. Yeah. You know how it squonked at the top like that and came out? Yeah. Uh, the the um, Cheetah 3 does that as well, but it hasn't got the ball bearing in. It just comes out the side. And I've done the review on the channel. And the fucking flavour is awesome because it's quite a restrictive um, deck. It's not very high at all. But you can't adjust the airflow. That's the only uh, con on it. But it's perfect restriction for me. It's semi-restrictive, so it gives really good flavour. But I just love the squonking on that because it just goes all over the coil. And it's just like dripping then. I mean, I would love to try a Jenna or a 502, but obviously they were made in very limited quantities. So, so naturally, they're quite expensive drippers. That's the... Um... What's it? CR something in it? The, the Asmodus. C4 from Asmodus. C4, yeah. Oh, one flavour trouble is, but this little bastard, the spit back from it's fucking insane. It's a nice, uh, it's like a, it's a very low profile dripper, that one. Very low profile. It reminds me a lot of the, do you remember when the Goon LP came out? Yeah. And it had the kind of single slit kidney hole style F1 yeah. states. Yeah. That one was very low profile. Steve Nichols, Vic, help. Can't get a decent flavour from the True Tank, just tasting Nick, but no flavour. Less cotton, Steve. Sounds like you're putting too much cotton through the coil. You're choking out the juice supply. Yeah, it's, here's that Cheetah 3. It hasn't got a drip tip on it. And we've got yeah, they, a... never, they never send that out to me. And OBS normally send out everything. Do they? That's yeah, I bought this one, obviously. But, um, right. I yeah, to... single, single Cyclops F on yeah. the side. So that locks in the place so you can take it off the mod or the Dilly Gaff Atty Sand in this instance. Yeah. Uh, He's, I think uh, Jules is in chat. He was in here earlier. But you can buy them on Facebook, these piston stands, guys. That's right, yeah. So, just, you know, not much going on there. But, um, yeah, the I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus that. Just can you see the T shape? Oh. So, it just goes straight over the, the coils. But I did, a, oh, yeah. on my review, I did got it really close up and did a slow-mo on the uh, squonk. And that, that looked awesome. That T is where the kind of liquid floor comes up. Right over the top of the coil. Yeah. Like so it's yeah. like you're getting <laughs> dripping flavour from it. So it is a. This it is... reminds me a lot of the Bushido 2 in a way. Like the way the Bushido 2 had the domed cap where you drop liquid in the top and it went. Right oh, yeah, yeah, the... yeah, yeah. I remember that. Obviously, I, as far as I'm aware, you couldn't squonk that one because the airflow came from the bottom and then directly up the middle. But, but yeah, not many people have been talking about this, but I thought the flavours, because you can see it's really short for a dual corn. Is... Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But the flavour I was getting from this is awesome. Short domed cap, yeah. I'd imagine the flavor would be pretty good on that. Yeah, and it's good for squonking. If you like squonking, this is definitely a good one for it because it doesn't go, you know. So is it predominantly uh, marketed as a bottom feed idea, the, the Cheetah 3 then? Um, because of that T-shaped design of it? Probably, yeah, that's the one thing I did find, actually. When you are dripping... Uh, because because obviously if you're squonking uh, and if you squonk too much as well how mm -hmm. are you going to suck the e-liquid back out the deck yeah, yeah see what exactly. i mean so that's one thing i alluded to on the video you have to just do it you work out how to do it but if yeah. you were going to blur the juice in you can flood out the deck uh, a bit too easily but you can do that with any rda if you do that can't you so Basically, yeah but uh, yeah, with a squonking, you just have to. But you can't go too fucking cocksure <laughs> on the squonk bottle because otherwise you will get it to flood out. It's a good little dripper though, and it was only about twenty quid, twenty pound in the UK. I Price wise, yeah, they're really good. SR vapes, I got it from, I think. I've dealt with SR vapes in the past. I bought one of the Lissimo F4 box mods from them. Yeah. Mod eighteen six fifty, yeah. ridiculously big mod. It's a decent, um, reason, decent mod that I, is. Yeah, the only reason I bought it was to because it was the only regulated mod I could find at the time that would fit the 41mm Titan by Steam Crate. Yeah. So I bought that. Turns out there was a chip issue within. And within two weeks of owning mine, it vented. Oh, really? Um, and it turns out it was... Because uh, it was it was four brand new batteries I was using. None of the wraps were, were torn or nicked or anything like that. I contacted SR Vapes. They said, we're aware of a chip issue with the, the first couple batches of the, the F4. We'll send you out a brand new one. So they were kind enough to just complete, just straight up send out a brand new one, and they were, they were very quick to reply. Yeah, he's. Uh, I've spoken with the um, the owner, Steve. He's a really yeah. nice bloke, actually. Yeah, SR Vapes, he, uh, yeah. Uh, a good company. But, um, yeah, I think Sean, Sean Beasy, who's normally on the feed, he's got one of those, and his is still going, because he uses it on, he loves his massive tanks, Stunny, uh, yeah, Sean does. does. 
I'm yeah. going to view a main yeah. that bought the, the F4 the same time I did, and theirs are still running perfectly. Yeah, this, it, you get it, don't oh. you, with a lot of mods. Because people, destroy, you know what I mean? it's people just, uh, say, oh, the Wildwolf shit, and I'm thinking, well, I've had mine six months, and it still works. So <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> well, it's the same as the Druga Fox. I mean, yours doesn't has a, has a battery issue, but it still, <laughs> it still works. Exactly, too. and it, I think it looks pretty good as well. And uh, Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it is a problem, then. It shouldn't have happened, because if I had paid 50 quid for that, I wouldn't be happy. Well, that's what Morg did. Morg, uh, my live stream co host, got his from the expo when they first hit the market last year. And uh, he paid for his, and then obviously it broke. So we contacted Org Vape. They sent her a replacement straight away. And then within a week, his replacement broke as well. And then he emailed yeah. them again and was like, the, re the replacement you sent is broken, and then just kind of never heard back from them. So I don't, I don't really know what happened. But... Yeah, you get two, yeah, two yeah, emails, that's and that's it, yeah. No, they've been pretty good with me because I told them, I said, I'm going to do this review, but I'm going to have to hold off for a bit because unless this fault sorts itself out. But they they, they told me everything that was going on. They said batch th three, they would have sorted the issue out. Well, the, so, the problem was, like I said earlier, I did my review before knowing about all the issues. So in my review, I'm going, this yeah. is a fantastic mod. It's great. I've not had a single issue with oh, it. Oh, right. So we clear it all broke. So I'm thinking... Do I do I do I remove the review? Do I update it? Do I do do I do another video saying look this happened or whatever? I contacted Old Vape, they sent me the replacement. So I did. I've said in a lot of live chats between when I uploaded that video and and now about how there was a lot of issues with the first couple of batches and how Old Vape were aware of those issues. And if you do have a yeah. early batch issue and you contact them, they will nine times out of ten quite happily replace it. Yeah, but well, that's basically what I did on my review because luckily I waited a while. I waited a whole month. Uh, before after everyone else put theirs out and i basically mm -hmm. put a screenshot of my email from them and they said if there's a problem contact them and they'll uh, deal with it so yeah yeah I, th I was too quick triggered on my review i put it out too quick yeah, i mean some... i tested the mod for two or three days yeah i, love I normally do at least a week broke. <laughs> yeah it's a bit quick on a mod you want at least a week's Fucking exactly. rigor, rigorous that's testing. The way I do things. The old vape there, there, that situation changed the way I do uh, mod reviews, definitely. Yeah. What's up then, Lethal and Goobs? Oh, sorry. I'm uh You in the... Um, is that the Eiffel yeah. Tower? No, that's the... Um... That's what I was going to say. He's, he's on holiday in New York. <laughs> New York, <laughs> even. Empire State, isn't it? I haven't changed. No, uh, we have a thunderstorm going on right now, so... I just looked at my phone. Off. See if it has a decent charge in case the power goes out. Did anyone remember that, or was it just me? Whenever there, whenever there was a lightning storm, everyone told you to turn the computer off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Vic remembers. It was um, yeah. um pull out the fucking aerial from the well, telly when I was allowed. Yeah, pull out the aerial from the telly. That's <laughs> right. You're right as well. <laughs> they say you shouldn't uh, go swimming, and I've done it plenty of times. I've been swimming in the thunderstorm before. It's not. Don't stand underneath a tree as well. <laughs> stand, quick, take cover. <laughs> where under the tree. Fantastic. Am I drunk or does Vic keep going out of focus? You're drunk. <laughs> it's Logitech. It a little bit, but not much. Fucking Logitech. <laughs> you know what's funny is that I used to have my Logitech. <laughs> I've got the C920 Pro webcam, and I used to have it on autofocus. And I used to I used to film my reviews with it. So I'd be like, here's the no. here's the tank I'm reviewing, hold it up right in front of the camera. Autofocus does nothing. 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 No. <laughs> Chris has got to curse at his to get it to focus. Yep. <laughs> Straight up. If, unless I tell it fuck you, Logitech, it don't wanna. I think I've got mine nothing. on autofocus at the moment, but it's not I, I it's actually have my... working. It likes yeah, light. Working really well. Yeah, it likes light. I've got a big fucking softbox on me, so if you've got the light in, it tends to like it a little bit better. Gonna, yeah, mine is working. Well, yeah, mine is working all right. Isn't it? This is a nice mod as well. This is as, as Modus Ultrona EOS two. Is that real Stabwood? Yeah, this is Stabwood. Beautiful looking. Mod. We are not ignoring you. I would love as Modus Stabwood anything. I don't care what it is. If it's Stabwood, I'll take it. I managed to blag that one from Sourcemore because they said um, they kept hassling me to review for them. And they said, um, choose something from the site. So I, I well, thought, right, let's have, have a look for the most expensive thing you got. And they said, yeah, we'll send you that. And I said, <laughs> you know all right. Funny? You know what's funny? is like Gearbest <laughs> contacted me and asked me to do a video for them. They said, all you got to do is mention the product was sent by Gearbest. Like, right, that's fine. 
They were like, pick anything from the site. What's the most expensive one they've got? Oh, most vape triad, DNA 250. So I emailed them back and I was like, you sent us one of them? And they were like, yeah, that's fine. So I was like, oh, fair enough. Did they? Huh? Yeah, well, this, the weird thing is, is that they said they would send it. And I've not heard from them since. So I don't know. Yeah, I, I did one review for Gear, ba- ba- uh, Gear Best and never heard back from them. <laughs> That usually happens with gear best. That happened to me several times. Yeah, I'm not. I, I mean, I wouldn't be overly bothered if I managed to get a hundred, a hundred and twenty pound more out of it. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not about getting free shit, but if you can get yourself a decent. No, one. but so, like, like if they a review and just mentioning it was sent by such and such website. If the way I saw it was, if you keep hassling me to review, uh, I'll get something. And it was a few months old, and I thought, well, fuck it, I'm going to get this one then. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, sod it. I don't get much else with the channel. Well, so I'm going to get something I want. The reason I've not done a huge amount of hardware reviews is because <laughs> not, <laughs> not a lot of the companies have got in contact with me. Hardware works. <laughs> you what? Uh, okay. <laughs> get that tongue back in your mouth, Vic. I, um, I did. Uh, what's it? <laughs> um, offer off. Uh, off brand. They got in touch. Off, 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 off. Yeah. So I reviewed theirs. I think it's got a little bit, a little, little building, building tutorial going on. And um, that's kind of the that's the most recent bit of hardware I've had was the was the gear. And the next bit of hardware I've got is the Advocate, <clears throat> the Advocate Dark Mesh. But I've not had a, I've not had a huge amount of people ask me to review hardware because I'm predominantly e-liquid. And the problem yeah. is everyone says do hardware, do hardware. But whenever I do hardware. The e-liquid reviews get way more views than what the hardware. Yeah, I must admit, of all the channels I've watched, you you get loads of views for e-liquid. You check out his um uh, videos, guys. Scott's reviews. Uh, he gets like in the hundreds, thousands even uh, for juice reviews, and I haven't seen that on anyone else's channel. It's just my it's just my really old like two year old clickbait videos that get that type of views. <laughs> no, but they're, they're quite good as well. I like the way you do actually use the. Um, <laughs> Uh, jump cuts quite effectively as well. So the reason you... I use them so much is because if I uploaded the raw file, the videos will be about forty minutes long. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, so much I thought it actually worked quite well though, because if you get used to it, you start watching it at first, because I'm like, oh, a bit jumpy, but then and I thought yeah. it was quite funny as well, because you've got a good sense of humour in that as well. So yeah, check things. him out, guys. Everyone in chat, if someone could put um the Scots reviews um channel link. link in there one of my spanners uh please um everyone in chat go and give him a sub because he's a really nice dude and we like to support our fellow reviewers on this channel much appreciated what i said vic? i think vic wants to do a top down yeah vic's in a top down um so, so he... saying, where'd vic go vic's fingers are there sorry right. i'm recoiling the kelpie because this coil's fucked there we go like this is an exclusive uh, yeah, exclusive, exclusive right now. How can we zoom in a bit more? Let's get get mm-hmm. Vic's camera up. This is our live. I'm trying to zoom in more, but the fucking Logitech, fuck, isn't Logitech. It? fuck you. <laughs> 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 it looks a bit black that call, doesn't it? <coughs> hey. just, just, just as I take it in, I want to see Vic's face right in my and <laughs> And the main screen said, fuck Logitech, so it caught me the wrong way, that email. Kieran, uh, Nature Vape said, get in touch with uh, Mark at Nature Vape, and he will add you to his review list, and he, you know, you can chat with him about stuff, because he's got his own right. shop, so he might be able Much to send appreciate you. Much appreciate it, man, really, uh, really do appreciate it. Um, well, I'll follow you on Twitter, send you a message on Twitter, though. I usually, I use Twitter more than I use Instagram, now. I kind of fell out of Instagram, to be honest. I quite liked Instagram, but I couldn't be bothered putting a million tags in it. Oh, yeah, the, the thing with Instagram, you can't put fucking links on it. So if you advertise your exactly. review, no one can fucking click on it anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So um, I kind of fell out of love with that. Jules, thank you so much for putting the link in there. Really yeah, cheers, it. Jules. That is much obliged, lovely. And also, we've got Goober and Lethal, as always. So Yeah, don't please... forget the other guys. And of course, we've got Vaping with Vic in here. And a lot of you may be subscribed, but if you're not, go and check him out as well. because Everyone knows Vic. Everyone's already subscribed to him. <laughs> they might not be. And he is the godfather of uh, vaping in the UK. So he check is, him out. Bogging out with the Batman. What's going on? What's up, Batman? Batman? Mr. Bogging out with the Batman. Mr. Mr. Santos, I enjoyed your little stint earlier on uh, Kentucky's uh, video earlier. That was uh, really good, mate, hearing about your... The, uh, being on the rigs and stuff like that, brother. Been doing yeah, it's really interesting stuff. Yeah, being on the rigs. 
Yeah, but that's what I mean. He has to go away for like weeks at a time and come back, fits his YouTube channel in. He's a busy boy, do you know what I mean? And he's that's managed... the thing is that he works a really fucking, a really hard grafting job. Still manages to find the time to get these videos out as well. Yeah, I don't know. He takes it away of him, I think, from what I've heard yeah. on previous slides. He takes the, the raw footage away and then starts doing the editing when he's uh, in his spare time on the rig. and yeah. so. Massive, massive props to him. But he's uh, managed to convert into the hundreds i think he was saying 100 200 smokers on the rigs from mm -hmm. uh to, into vaping he's managed to convince them that, that... that's the thing though is that when you think of oil rigs it's a very it's, it's very stereo stereotypical as it sounds a very masculine job isn't it You're fucking what, right. what, what, well, that's what, what, what he was what, saying what, it's uh, like it's yeah, trying exactly. to do you know what i mean a proper you know manual worker smoker yeah. to try and convince them that I it's fucking same. hard isn't it Four four or five years ago, I was working 12-hour and eight shifts in a production plant. Ooh. It was all calls. smokers, man. All smokers. Everybody smokes. They are good calls, them. Chris's calls. He's a, a, another Scottish fella. Is that Chris Grant? Yeah, they are yep. awesome, actually. He does yeah, mouth-to-lung yeah. ones as well, which are good. Yeah. Hey, Mike, no one watches my reviews. They put them all to sleep. <laughs> well, that's why they do watch them. Yeah, I put them on usually about one in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I've, got, I've got insomnia. Mm. Put Goober's videos on. I'm the Goober's the fun, legend, yeah. mate. <laughs> oh, love... is he packing with cotton in there too? Vic, Lisa's oh, yeah. right. Vic is the mod father, indeed. Vic, you hear yeah, that? Big bastard. Look at that. God. That's a fucking. That's guy. a fucking hell. How many wraps are on that? Jesus. What's that? Frame staple, Vic. Staple staggered fused. Oh right. Fuck oh, me. Oh my god. Staple Can size of the fucking thing is huge. Yeah, it's it's got <laughs> Vaping Irish, Godfather of Vaping, more like the See, grandfather that's... MF Vape. <laughs> 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 Who's that, me or Vic? <laughs> I am a grandfather. That's the thing, that's another thing that intrigued me about the Kelpie was when uh, oh, Vic was doing his introduction video and he spoke about how the deck was split so you didn't have to do a half unwrap to fit. <laughs> Coily Tool. Coily Tool is coming out to play. Is that a white one you've got there, Vic? Glow oh, this one. one. Glow in the dark. I see these coily tools all over Twitter, by the way. Have you not got one yet, Scott? No. You I need don't... to get one, man. Especially for I'm still post... using Bandy Vapes ones that come in the package of the Kyle. Well, it... <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> you got to get one, brother. I'll need to get Support one. our UK yeah. friend. Ooh, this is... so you can, you can rebuild now, here's pack. a question I have. Who's cutting their coils in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it, it helps out so much the, the coily tool he's a uk based bloke who designed the fucker as well they only I cost about that. five to ten pounds so get one uh, and support our it's, brother it, i'm surprised it's not been done sooner because it's such a good idea and it yeah is. yeah Vic's right you can have them all customized as well yeah but yeah, if, I, if i see these ones in freebies in the um the kit site and that i don't use them because i always get out my authentic because i believe in it he's only been going a while and i want him to do well because he fucking deserves to i so, mean i mean you know what i mean i may be wrong in saying this but they're 3d printed right the they are but they do do the um he does the mass produce injection molded ones now so they can be sent abroad because he's yeah. only got his 3d printer in his um his house or whatever so he can only yeah. do like 20 20 units a week so you he can't keep up the demand so he started to get injection molded which are basically exactly the same but they're yeah. a little bit heavier that's right i'd imagine that the 3d printed ones take quite a while because i've got a i've got a i've got a friend of mine that works in it and he uses a 3d printer quite a lot and it takes fucking yeah it takes about 17 hours any... to do one i think or something <laughs> yeah. like that. no it does honestly it's like getting a fax but sent through uh, if you want a coil, I can send you one. I got a couple. Uh, same, can't you fuck off? Much appreciate, man. Thank you so much. So Manic Stera, MF8. He's doing a box mod enclosure for me. Who's that? Um, what Simon is? Martin, or um, someone else? We were talking about. Where the fuck's my coil master shit went? Hold on. Seven hours per coil. I thought it was longer than that. I'm sure it was eleven, but I may be wrong. What are you doing up, Flat Cap? You were supposed to be in here, aren't you? <laughs> Flat Cap's is, guys. There he is. Oh, yep, mm. those things. The coil here. My chance said hi and then he disappeared. No, so he's. I'm, I'm he's all right. Bless him. He's got his um, little kids and that as well. So let him off. Oh. He's on next week, though, um, Kieran. So I'll definitely be tuning into that. Yeah, nice one, bro. I know, okay, uh, that's the wrong I know what it's like having kids. Trust me. <laughs> Manic saying it took Simon 24 hours to print. I'm sure it was something like 17 hours. 
Seven hours, same as Vic's coiling. <laughs> Vic, do you prefer those tools to the uh, the other version of the coil master coiling jig? Yeah, well, the, um, the the graph the graphite rod ones. Yeah, I prefer the graphite rod ones. Okay, I love the graphite rod ones as well. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with that. Kevin Smith said, "Put the light on, Vic." The light is oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What'd you take for fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Did I gain turned up? There, how's that? Is that any better? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Fantastic, I can't see anymore. Whatever time it takes, it is a bloody long time for one item, and so the, the price he actually knocks them out for, they used to be five ninety nine. I think they're a little bit more if you get the personalised one. I've got the MF8 one, because you can put what you want on them, as yeah. long as it's got a certain amount of letters. But they they were a few pounds extra, but like 10 quid, 15 quid, whatever it is, um, it's not a lot for a for tool yeah. that's going to last you a lifetime. And I'm pretty sure that uh, R&R coils also made 3D printed atomizer stands as well, I think. I think they were. Yeah. So I think there's a, there's a lot of guys that are uh, kind of taking 3D printing and, and, and injection molding and making a lot of really handy uh, vape accessories. So it's a good idea to keep a, keep an eye out for them. Yeah, for the price, how are you going to... You know, I don't, I don't know. For the price that the authentics go for, I wouldn't buy anything but... You know, I want to give a shout out to Fogman out with the Batman as well because uh, he's a really top dude. We did talk shout about out him. to the Batman, absolutely. I've seen a few of his before. Very good. Give him a little sub as well. He's got over ten thousand now. Good. US yeah, reviewer. Cool he's a proper, yeah. honest reviewer. He's a really nice bloke as well. Love Batman. Love Batman. And m- my wife loves him as well. So, all oh. good. <laughs> as I'm just seeing in chat. <laughs> I guess the injection molded coily is a joint venture between Simon and Nature Vape. Yep, that is. But I feel like the um, injection molded is probably a little more durable. Um, I don't know. It's the way it feels to me. Have you got both of them, Leaf? Yep. Yeah. I got one of each. Uh, yeah, but I, I just love having the 3D printed one, though, because you know oh, yeah. that all that time and TLC has been put into it. it just, I just, Have you seen it when he put it on live stream on his Facebook group? You can see the fucking thing being printed. He used to have it on like 24 hour stream. So you can yep. see it just doing what it's doing, going backwards and forwards. And it's quite I mean, mesmerizing. When you have customized too, it means even more. You know, like mine has my name on it. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Coily. Yeah, well, it. here's the thing, Kevin. I couldn't get elitist capitalist bastard on <laughs> me. Coily. However, this is going to be seriously zoomed in. Hold on. What I did manage to get, if I do this, and then turn that up. Oh, we see here. What oh, I did manage to get is this. Here is my Guinness glass. <laughs> Look very closely at the engraving down at the bottom. Nice. Oh, hashtag capitalist bastard. <laughs> 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 Gotta love hey, it. Uh, Mike, right. Flat Cap right. said he'll pop on if it's not too late. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, MFA, nice red one as well. I, I just love the 3D printed ones because you can do that. But, um, right, this, should we get flat cap on then, guys? Yeah, well, Why yeah. not? Sure. Get guys on. We've only I got guess... one, one minute, though. <laughs> I'm Crazy, no- hi, bye. I'm normally under a curfew to finish at 12 o'clock, but I'm hoping Lisa might extend it to a little bit tonight since it's Easter. <laughs> it's Easter, yeah, I was going to say. It's Easter. Fuck it. Oh, I've got to try and get my internet to work. Look at that. Just like a pro. Fantastic. Wait for yeah. that. Look how big a coil that will take. That's that's why I was so intrigued about the Kelpie. Is how well, big this is well. that that's a three mil- that's that's a three millimeter coil in yeah. there, and there's still shit loads of room around it. Yeah, that's why I was so excited about it because I've got a lot of big chunky coils. Right, let's get flat cap on then. Right, I've sent it to your uh, Twitter account. That'll do. Gaz. <laughs> Kevin, fuck off. <laughs> is is Batman still in chat? Um, I don't know if Batman's still in chat. He might have 
just popped on for a second. Yeah, I was going to say, you're more than welcome to come on Batman if you're not doing anything. No, this is the uh, this is the after hours stream now. It's past midnight. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, after hours for you guys. Everything <laughs> goes now, man. Yeah, yeah, it's Easter <laughs> Sunday here now. Hey, Vicky, what's up? Yeah, you've got the Crystal Palace colours going on there. There is no what's up. I am <laughs> this weekend <laughs> off. Shut up, Gooba. That wasn't good. <laughs> he had to go to Gotham City. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been me, Vic. All right. Sorry, Gooba. <laughs> Fuck off, Chris. <laughs> Gotten gods. Hey, there we go. Remember to give us a close up on that wicking when you're done, Vic. <laughs> it's about as close as you're gonna get because it's a shit <laughs> see that's the thing when Vic did his introduction video he was showing about this is the cheap and nasty way to do it and I'm thinking that's probably how I'm gonna do it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, have G, Vic, you doing, yeah. cheers Irish see you later buddy <laughs> cheers man have <laughs> G, I'm not using galoshes actually am I hold on is it usual no, for... no I'm using Sony's yeah, Northern Monkey said, Vic, is it usual for a three hour build for the Kelpie or is it just Vic? Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, <God. laughs> it's it is going to be a wick or apparently some kind of wick off or something of this tank once the other three yeah. from the UK vape show. And I'm I'm gonna give you a guarantee. I will win. A vic off? A, a, a vic off? A wick off, actually that. Both a vic off and a wick off. It is we harder doing it on camera, though, isn't it, Vic? It's a lot harder doing it on camera. <laughs> well, Especially wait. live. No pressure. I said something, and now it went green, gray screen. There he is again. Oh, it's flat cap, yeah. John Connolly, thanks for tuning in, bro. Good night, brother. Hello. Hello. Guys, how you doing, man? Leon, there isn't one this week. Shh. <laughs> I can't oh, see Gaz. Is. Bloody camera. I can see Gaz's logo. Did you put um, ad video as well when you came in? Yeah, I'm trying to do start video, but it's... Uh... Fucking hell, I had all sorts of problems midway through, mate. There you are. There he is. Hey. What's up, Gaz? Sorry, Thanks. Thanks. Sorry I'm so late. How you doing? All right. Thanks for popping on, bro. That's David Beckham. No, thanks for the invite. No, yeah. <laughs> Bend it like was, Beckham. Um, we were out for the night and then we come home and the kids are in a nightmare and then they've all, they've all finally gone to sleep and I, I, could, I laid in bed. And you know, you just wide awake. I said, like, oh, it's no good. So I've come back out here. <laughs> <laughs> but cheers, I've done that on. many times. Went nice to, bed. to see you on, man. Get back up. Tell us what you're vaping on. <laughs> not, well, not a lot. I've just literally... <laughs> a, but I'm, it's a bit old. Well, a little bit old, but it's the V-Zone graffiti. Crazy oh. looking thing. Oh, yeah. Good mod, the graffiti. I like that mod. Yeah, I tell you what I'm liking about it is um, not the whole curve thing, but you've got the soft, hard, medium settings. Yep. It's quite handy, that. I don't really use it. It's, it's handy. Depending on your build. Yeah. Well, yeah, a few mods around. have that now. Yeah. It's, it's quite handy. But, yeah, the curves and that, I don't know who uses that sort of thing. Nah. Chain has made about 500 kelpies in a time he's taking Vector Wick 1. So nah. Is. <laughs> what else from Mr. Redman? I just choked on vapor. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, there, mate? You're right now. The kids. How old are your children, then, Gaz? Oh, uh, well, five-year-old boy and twin one-year-olds. Oh, twin one. <laughs> bloody yeah. hell! Your work's cut out, isn't it? <laughs> is everybody taking notes about how Vic is doing this? But yeah, wicking in the dark. <laughs> yeah, he's purposely got it in the dark so we can't see how he's doing it. Get under the moonlight. Is that glow in the dark cotton as well? He's using. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Or glow in the dark. Are you uh, using Max VG or um? Yeah. So you're going to do your tuck and under one, yeah? I might have to watch his back actually because hopefully. Yeah. Well, watch his introductory video, guys. It's probably yeah, it's... a bit better quality. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've ordered the black one. Same. No, they're not coming in <laughs> stock for another two weeks, apparently. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm only joking there. <laughs> another two days on Nature Break right, yeah. as well. 
And here we are, Vix caressing the cotton. Let's just wait, let's all wait until Vic's finished. Kevin says pay the flick it lucky Vic. Not only an elitist, but also a perfectionist, hence how long it takes him to wick. Uh, that's from Pav G, Vic. <laughs> I'll do it for him. <laughs> Mike, Mike, what was that module on Monkey that stratum? Who will be out before he's finished? Now oh, the stratum, this is um, it's actually a styled one, but you can get it from Nature Vape, mate. Yeah. So have you got a mouth to lung tank on that? Yeah. So you've got quite a high build. Yeah, we got. A, uh, I think it's a one ohm cord on it. I haven't actually checked. Actually, I only built it. Let's have a look. Oh well, so the mos the mosfet's like regulating it then, pretty much. Um, I don't think the mosfet does a lot apart from the fact that it has got um. It's basically like a mech. It, it's got protection, so it's got auto. Uh, what's it called? The polarity. Yeah. You can don't. It doesn't matter what way around, around you put your battery, but and it's got three clicks on, three clicks off. But I don't think it actually. Yeah, of course it. It. it the resistance of your call matters, but it basically just works like a mech. So I don't think it does mu much else, to okay. be honest. But Vic might be able to tell me a little bit more because uh, he's. I don't know if you've had MOSFETs before, Vic. MOSFETs are basically just basic protection. That's yeah. all they are. It's not regulating it as such, though, is it? Okay. Nah. So it's still like having a mech, but I did try the peerless on it because you get... What? The, <laughs> the peerless RDA, mate. I, yeah, I'll, I'll put it on for you. But because I've got an alien in there or a couple of tricor fuse, it's not the best ramp-up time. So I've noticed this isn't the best for... For doing like a, a really low ohm build, it's not like um, hitting mega hard for that yeah. sort of vaping, but it is really for your mouth to lung, really. And you, I've got a twenty one seven hundred in that, so you're going to get a good two days worth of um, battery out of it. Because what's the ohmage coming out on this K fun? Zero point nine eight, so it is basically one ohm core I've got. But yeah, this is an awesome tank though. If you like your mouth to lung, Kaz, this is the um, it's the YFTK one. Yeah, that's uh, they're nice. normally, I think they're about 79 or something like that. But this one, you can pick them up for 20 quid on Nature Vape. So, and it hasn't yeah. got any branding on it as well. So, it's, um, Ooh. which is nice. I think I quite, all, I quite all like a clean be, looking atomizer with, with about hundreds of branding on it. Yeah, exactly. Especially Ooh. on that stratum. I think it looks pretty, pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. Where's my peer disc gone? Do Does make? SXK do the same thing without the branding? The what, mate? Um, SXK? Um, <laughs> not, not all the time, no. Not really. Uh, the Goon 1.5 looks more like the Goon 1.5 than the original, I think. 50 but, watts. 50 watts. 50 watts. Would you fucking focus on you lump of shit? Come no, on. It only works for lethal. There it is. Oh. Why do I keep losing my atomizers? Nigel's. <laughs> point four. From point, four point four ohms staggered fused, right? Point four ohms staggered fused. Stop showing off, Vic. <laughs> Ooh, my 95. Mo my Fuck. mod can go up to 95 watts. He's going to kill himself. <laughs> Just to show you how well this thing can work. Oh, I right? hope you get a dry hit. Point four. <laughs> Fuck you, mate. <laughs> Point four ohms at ninety watts. I am currently pushing six volts into this coil. Right. Go on, then. <laughs> it sounds like someone's giving CPR. Jesus, big. Easy, don't hurt yourself. Fucking hell. <laughs> you... What was it? Was it Kevin Blood just said his room's gonna look like a Galatasaray match? <laughs> <laughs> yep. 95 watts at point four. Uh sorry, did you say one of the coil I saw mentioned on Twitter? Hey, can you mess me with Twitter, man? Yeah, much appreciated. Nice bit of wicking, Vic. Yeah, you know, right. Gaz. Oh, God. This good. is the um with the twenty four mil cap and I've got the troll RTA on it now, man. So it's cool nice. it has those two two different caps so you can put your 22s or 24s and make it look neat. I was a massive fan of that troll RTA that yeah. was a I tell you I'm, I'm doing a bit of a retro because I didn't have anything in I think I, I thought I'll get a couple of this is still tastes good Vic it's yeah. not that far yeah. behind you know what I mean 
It's is pretty... that an authentic troll as well? Because I've only ever seen. Yeah, this is authentic. Stale. Yeah, you know, I've only seen clone ones. This I used to use this for about a year. I used to, I just love it. The the airflow is really good still using it now. It's not that far behind the flavour either. <coughs> I promised, I promised Nature Vape I'd buy something shiny for his tank. So I saw you with a stratum earlier and thought, oh, that looks like a. a oh, the stratum's a good vat. It is fucking lovely in the end because you can extend it because it's got an extender as well, Kaz, for the bottom. So if you want to put an 18650, you put this one on, mm -hmm. or the 21700, okay. you put the fatter one on at the bottom there. <laughs> but it's still really short for a yeah, 21700. Look, in, it's, it's still a good, good form factor. Aren't it? Yeah, it's, mm. it's, but with him, the, the, I think with that bloody K fun on there, I just think it just suits it really well. Yeah, really good stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's just plug and play, isn't it? You just just <laughs> yeah. go. I love it. <laughs> Not working now. <laughs> What's going on with it? Oh, that is a lot better with a new coil. What What you have to do though, that um, Mark did, uh, uh, Lou, put your tank on first, tight, and then screw from the bottom, because you will notice, especially with different size twenty one seven hundreds. Because some are a little bit longer, you might have a, sl a slight gap around there. But if you do it the other way around, it won't connect. So you need uh, to put the tank on, otherwise it won't fire. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And I've had uh, many, many a hybrid mod which I've always put the atomizer on. First. Yeah, I always do that uh, anyway. You should yeah, do. Yeah, because I did it. I did it the other way around. And I screwed the atomizer right down, and then realised I'd bent the positive pin on the battery right, right down. Yeah, where, exactly. Where yeah, it's, it's it's the safest thing to do on any tubular mod. Put the um the tank on or the RDA on first. You live and learn. I've made mistakes with that. Before. Well, yeah, you do live and learn, don't you? But it's just with this one because it was a MOSFET. Now I was you wouldn't necessarily think you need to do it like that, would you? Um, because because you've got uh, that safety belt on. Yeah, but it's still yeah, it depends how long your battery is uh, yeah. basically. So, would you say that's an old day carry? What this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's pretty light, mate. It's um, especially especially that I like taking a mouth along and a direct along to work with me. So mm -hmm. this is definitely it feels <laughs> nice. I walk down the road with one in my hand most of the time anyway. <laughs> so it's it's not that heavy. It's a little bit of weight, but you've got a twenty one seven hundred in there, so they weigh a little bit more anyway, don't they? But the form factor, I love the way it sort of it curves down well, and inwards. Curve in, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's just it just feels it's nice. Ergonomic feel. Uh, yeah. Vein you see That's the side nice. side button on it as well. The um, you squeeze it to, to I see make that, it. yeah. And it's sort of, it's just nice. It, I I just got it. I I loved it. As soon as I touched <laughs> it, it feels good, and it works uh, pretty well. But I've only had it for a day, so I don't know how it's going to hold up because I do notice that they are selling the the chip boards on top separately as well. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, we'll have to see how long it lasts. But this is one I don't want to rush to re review out for. I think Vic's got one sent in as well. Yeah. So we'll have to see how it fares. But I don't think it's the hardest hitting in the world. If you're going to be putting like RDAs on, I'm not sure it's uh, necessarily designed for that. It probably works better for a mouth to lung, uh, for battery life instead. Yeah. But yeah, good little device. Ingvar came out with a new recipe a couple of weeks ago. If you go and check eLiquidRecipes.com. I saw that. Yeah, you did. The king one. That, the no, thing. that's the peach custard. The the oh. new one was the, the duchess. Oh, the duchess. Ooh. Who's that? It's so a raspberry, raspberry watermelon vanilla. Raspberry watermelon vanilla, strawberry, and passion fruit. Bloody All right, yeah. that sounds interesting. That's that's fuck, I'm going to have a look at yeah. that. Sounds all right, actually. I like my fruit vapes. Yeah, yeah I do as well. really good. I've not known anyone to put peach in with watermelon. That sounds interesting. <laughs> but it, now that I think about it, it would kind of work. Hmm. Jordan, I was I'm talking about the mod, mate. <laughs> the, the thing is that you do get pornographic when you because we're all passionate vapors. We like our little devices. Not uh, not everything we review we like. Well, I don't anyway. So it's nice when you come across something you do like. I was almost a little bit embarrassed when I did the, my true uh, tank review and I wanted to put on something small. The only thing I had was a Kangatek sub box. <laughs> and I was, oh man, I need some nice looking mods. Yeah, this is a nice looking one, yeah. I've just noticed Gaz has got a scooter in his background. Yeah, you're a bit of a mod then, uh, Gaz. No, well, I was until 
um, I saw a picture of me on a Vespa from behind and I was about twice the width of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that old fashioned picture of the twins on the little motorbikes? What's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I've bought slightly bigger ones now. I've always got a scooter somewhere. Lisa said, can I bring yeah, this to bed with me tonight? <laughs> <laughs> the Prince is really nice flavour, Vic. Definitely going to make that, uh, mix that again every time. Yeah, that's mix. one of the peach custard variants. <laughs> okay, mate, we get it. It's an extension of something you're lacking. <laughs> yeah, all right, guys. Yeah, I'm quite happy with my manhood. Thank you very much. I don't know about Lisa, but <laughs> <laughs> so how, how's your wife then, Kaz? She all right? She gone to bed then? Yeah, yeah. yeah you you are married, now, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How yeah, long you been married she's... then, man? Uh, that has been seven years. Yeah, seven years. That's about how long I've been married. I think. In yeah. the end of May, is it? Yeah, we're 19 now. Yeah. Scary. Flies by. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Say anyway. Who's Morgan now? years. Morgs, yeah, yeah, he's in the chat. Uh, Mango is banned in my house. The missus won't let me vape. vape is that... I... His missus said it smells like cat piss. So he's not allowed mango flavored liquid in the house anymore. <laughs> is that in there, the long road home, man? That's his channel, yeah. That, that's nothing. My wife woke me up in the middle of the night the other night and she said, oh, I can smell poo. I think one of the twins has pooed. And she disappeared off a minute and she come back and she was like, no, they haven't pooed. I think it's, I think it's your vape liquid. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think I'm vaping on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can turn it off three clicks as well, which is quite nice. Yeah, on and off on a, on a mod like that is uh, quite handy. Yes, yeah, well. very it's handy. Awesome. Is the whole is the whole of the, the button clicky, or is it just like the top part? Um, sort of from about halfway up, but to be honest, there's the bit where you do press. There's a sort of button, um, a bit of knurled section just above where the stratum writing is. Oh, okay. So you tend to feel for that and just press it there anyway. Yeah. I've noticed that. I've had know. a few months where the, the mods had a full a full kind of side fire button, but only the top part. Yeah, no, this yeah. this isn't designed like that. If you look at it, yeah. it's just literally... Oh, yeah, it looks Do you great. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know where to I press. I how it's cut in as like a part of the actual tube as well. Yeah. I don't even think it's that dear, really. It's not even that expensive. Uh, no, it's not. 35 on Nature Vapor, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Bargain. John Enjoy. Deering's in the house. How are you doing, mate? Jaden, uh, uh, Jaden, who the fuck? I What's worrying me is how does she know what cat's piss smells like? Uh, she's got because they've got a cat. Yeah, they <laughs> so piss everywhere. Like, yeah. <laughs> they've got a cat. <laughs> just built the reload RTA just for something to do. What sort of flavour are you getting out of that then, Morg? Fucking awesome tank that was. That was my first ever review on the channel. So don't watch it. <laughs> but um, Okay, now we got to go watch it now. Not to watch on Twitter. There was when you told me not to watch. What one was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was one of your really early ones, I think. You oh, said right. not to watch it. Don't watch any of them. <laughs> but they're still good, Mike. It's it's just funny though when you do because you're always thinking you're improving. Well, you you generally are. Vic would uh, agree with me. In this. So I don't spend Eli watching his older reviews here from about four years ago. I uh, <laughs> I am probably the worst. My <laughs> I'm probably the worst offender of all of us. If you go back a couple of years and look at my channel, it was uh, <laughs> it's not exactly pretty. Put it that way. The problem is I can't even delete a lot of the old ones because it's the most popular videos. No, I, mean, I don't. I've, That's I've the problem. The yeah. And I hate it. I hate the way it's shot. I hate the way it's edited. I hate when my face looks like that. And I can't delete it because it's got like 50,000 views. And I'm like, I can't, I can't get rid of it because a lot of people know me from that. You video. can make it private, though. That's what I make. I mean, I've got a lot of videos set to private on my channel. Trust me. No, I just left them up. I thought, fuck it. I am what I am. It's just, just like that, isn't it? Yeah. No, you're right. But um, yeah, but that first video, I took ages. But 
doing it as well and it was crap as well i was really fiddling with the coil and everything it was bloody awful so if anyone did take tips from that (laughs) 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 but you got to start somewhere don't you i had a shaving mirror i had a phone uh with elastic bound around it i think with the shaving mirror mirror yeah it is here i had this and i had it like that with the phone underneath here using that as like a tripod i think it was angled like that type thing and wow. that that was my tripod for the first one or two videos and then until i bought a tripod all done on the camera camera phone the uploading to youtube the uh, software and everything but yeah. it was good fun though at the time do you know it was great like being able to do it team, you think it's like the dog's balls like yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking wicked video. and a year later you watch it back and you think oh my fuck what a cunt how many i look at the videos i'm making i look at the videos i'm making now and i go back to the early days five years ago when i was using a using a five-year-old jv and at the time it was five-year-old jvc mini dv tape camcorder balanced on my monitor thinking this was the shit no it wasn't it was fucking horrible (laughs) oh my god 640 by 480 resolution oh really (laughs) yeah if you go back and watch the old videos they're square they weren't (laughs) white screen Four by three. <laughs> yeah, I've watched the ones with you when you very first started um, uh, cutting the ciggies out. I think you might have even been smoking still a bit, weren't you? No, so the, the first video up? was put up. The first video was put up March twenty eighth, twenty fourteen. The day I gave up smoking. Yeah, I, I do remember. I can't remember it yeah. being square, but I'll... Oh, it was square. <laughs> it was square. <laughs> Saying, can't it make fuck off? Uh, I tried messaging you on Twitter, but I can't seem to message you either. I don't know if it's a set and you've got set or whatever, but I can't seem to. I don't have the option to message you. Uh, I don't know about you guys though, but but that like overconfidence when you start reviewing that overconfidence and thinking you're you're brilliant is what kind of gets the ball rolling. Uh, yeah, you know, it certainly helped me out. That's the thing is that I never had a lot of confidence at the t- when I started doing my videos at the time. I was working full time as like a store manager, and you would think I would have a lot of confidence dealing with. <laughs> like customers and and and, and our swipes is the only way to explain it every single day and but to be honest when i uploaded my first video i was really shy but i was like do i kind of do i want to do this yeah. do i not want to yeah. do this yeah and i wasn't overconfident <laughs> when i originally started the channel it was never meant to be a vape related channel at all all right it was actually right. gonna be like video game news so i uploaded a few video game news videos they got like fuck all views and then i did a vape related video and it gained a lot of traction i'm thinking right well i've obviously found my niche which is vape related stuff so then i started doing that and that's basically the the origins of the channel there chris grant i'm not sure where tvp is um he probably like lisa said he's probably having a nap yeah uh the sean his dog died yesterday so he did say he didn't know whether he was really up for it because he'd been in the family for 14 years so it's a shame man you know Big love to Sean. It's always tough when you lose a pet, man. Yeah. Oh, well, it is. It's horrible. It is a family member at that stage. Isn't it? Well, exactly. Yeah, he was. Sean was really close to his dog. So. I'm a bit like that with my cat. It's just starting. To, it's only eight, but it's just starting to go grey, and I'm like, yes, it's on the way out. But I know as soon as it goes, I'll be gutted. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> <it's on the laughs> I've never heard someone refer to their pet like that before. That's, that's <laughs> cats, cats, in my opinion, are, are disposable. <laughs> I wonder if he thinks the same when he looks at your grey hair coming in. He's on the way out. It's great. <laughs> yeah. So vapor, so a flat cap, I should say vapor. Everyone's going to be saying yeah. Um, you, you got, you had an exuberating confidence on your first videos, then, yeah. Well, kind of, yeah. Um, it just, uh, I'd done a review and sent it to EC Click and thought I was, yeah, the bee's knees. And um, they, yeah, they, they said, oh, I'll do a written review and then, we'll, you know, we'll see how you go from there. Oh, right. So they straight away got back to you after the first. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they thought much to my video review. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, they got back in touch. So I did a real nice written review and then uh, they said, oh, we'll carry on from there. And they said, oh, if you want to do a um, a YouTube video with it, then, then cool. So I did that. Yeah, and the first couple of reviews I done for him, I did one on the GTRS Low Coast little pod kit, and the video I had like a bit of blue tarpaulin behind me, and like you say about being nervous, I was kind of like a scared, nervous wreck talking to the yeah. camera. Um, 
so I thought, oh, I need to, I need to make this look a bit better, just, just to kind of represent their website a little bit better. So, um, yeah, I, I tried to up my game pretty quick. Yeah, well, you have done that. You've, um, you've gone from like, you know, there to fucking up here in a very short space of time. Well, that's the, that's the thing that I said recently. Someone asked me on a live stream two days ago. Well, not two days ago, two live streams ago. Sorry who my top three was and one of them was flat cap because i love the way gaz edits his videos thanks mate it's really yeah. visually appealing like he he's, he's very professional isn't he yeah really really good mm. stuff so that's what i said during the stream and i didn't know much about you until i saw you on the uk vape show mm. and then that's when i started checking you out and i was like yeah this, this guy's got good this guy's got a lot, a lot of good fucking good videos on the channel yeah so. that's what the show's about isn't it vic uh, exactly yeah yeah um, yeah, yeah i mean Hundred percent, those you know, Vic and the rest of the guys certainly bump my my subs up massively, and I've noticed the difference in views and and comments. And, yeah, because uh, I saw a couple of yours before you even went on there, because um, you were on Twitter and that a lot, weren't you, Flat Cap? And I must admit, I don't always fucking watch uh, look at social media that much, especially to watch a new reviewer. I don't always have the time, but I did watch it, and I was thinking, bloody hell, these good. You yeah, know well, what I mean, Mike, straight away. Mike, you you were one of the first, really, like. In, in my eyes, big reviewers to kind of yeah. Well, I'm not a big reviewer. I'm a in, in my eyes, sort of you're, you're up there, mate. You <laughs> oh, know. thanks, mate. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, thanks, thanks to you, mate, for you know talking to me in the first place, giving a comment. It was nice. <laughs> no, it was like I say, I, I, I just thought I knew what I was like at the first videos. And I thought you were fucking damn sight better than I was. So that's I, the thing. I thought the same. Right. I felt the exact same. Way Do you know what? I thought you bastard. People keep, <laughs> yeah, people keep, saying, hey. people keep saying, "When are you going on UK Veeps?" And I'm like. It's I the UK Veep Show is such a great platform to give. So there's so many better channels out there that deserve the exposure. Mm. Oh, you're going to be on. Trust me, you're going to be on. Oh, great! <laughs> Look at Christ. Yeah, I, I, Vic, won't mind me saying is that I, I probably when when he first kind of spoke to me about it, and I said, oh, I'm not sure because I'm, I, you know, I've only been going a couple of months. Yeah. And I haven't done many lives, so I'm not, you know, still kind of getting used to that. And and uh, yeah. he just said, come on, have a chat. Just don't worry about it, you know. Yeah. But, no, you um, did well on there as well because it is it is hard on the UK yeah, vape show when you're a new reviewer, isn't it, Vic? Uh, yeah, exactly. For a new reviewer, it can be daunting when you see these guys because I've popped into UK vape show live streams and I've seen them have eight, nine hundred, one thousand yeah. viewers at a time. And I'm thinking, that's like, even I would go on that and be like, Jesus. Yeah, Christ. it is quite nerve wracking. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the other it's thing not- is, if you ever if you ever go out for like a meal with a load of people, a load of couples or something, and you don't know anyone, you're kind of like. You don't know when to talk and who to talk to. So yeah. I'm still kind of going through that where I'm getting to know people. And yeah, yeah, that's know. why coming on these sort of shows is good for your confidence. Uh, when you, you know, well, you've got fucking quite a few subs. You could even start doing your own live videos on your own. Yeah, you could. Uh, I mean, that, yeah, that's I'm what gives you the confidence, man. When you start doing them on your own and you get like, you know, you might have 20, 40 people watching or whatever. When you first start, you'll probably have more because you've got, you've got. A, you're rising quickly when i first started doing it i only had about 15 people but it was good interaction you can talk to them you can answer questions and people are watching it because they they want to watch it and it makes you it gives you confidence being in front of the camera so i think it's a good thing doing it on your own uh, just to talk with your subscribers you haven't got chats not going mental uh, because they've only got so many people watching and it's yeah. just a good way of easing yourself into to doing it yeah. and then when you eventually well you've already you've done it the other way around you've gone straight on the uk vape show without having much I'll, experience yeah, cheated. That's what I say. I'll cheated. but next time you go in there you'll be a bit more like you'll probably yeah. be able to interact a, a little bit easier because yeah. you're that m- much more confident but the best thing to do is to just put yourself out there to be honest, I mean, yeah. it's like uh, yeah. you can picture as well. Rob, he's he did his first live show the, uh, yesterday, I think. His live show. And he that? said he was like Rob for uh, UK Vape stuff. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, he said that on his live show that he he felt it was about the time where he really wanted people to know more about him and about his personality and stuff. And so he started the whole live show thing, and it's the best way to really do it because, like you said, you can interact with a chat in real time, answer yeah. questions get to know people and at the same time they can get to know you as well so. yeah i think it's good they, they appreciate the subscribers as well because some these are these sort of uh, shows are great but sometimes they do want the interaction with just you uh, yeah do you know what i mean yeah uh, i'm not blowing my own fucking trumpet here but the, i do get comments where people say i do miss the ones when you were on your own I saw and, uh, yeah. yeah so yeah. i do want to try and do that again 
yeah. uh, I normally do it when I hit a, a milestone or something. Just go out during the week. Just fuck it. I'm going live now, and it's quite a nice <laughs> feeling. And you you see how many people you get. You might get. 50 70 people you know vic gets a lot more than that but that's quite nice when you're thinking out of the blue i've just gone live at 10 o'clock on a wednesday or thursday night or something and um and you get all the people saying you know supporting you and it's a bloody nice feeling yeah. just do it in the middle of that's the next thing happy for you and this is school live the other, the other good thing is i i because i'm still like i've been vaping for years but not kind of keeping up to date with what's coming out so yeah learning a lot from a lot of the lives really good so yeah that's why i'm kind of like i'm getting on some of them because i just ask questions you know what's that what, you know what's that do that well i'm of learning it. as well because a lot of the stuff i haven't got got all seen as well it's um only the big big reviewers that get given a lot of stuff but quite often i'm saying to mark what's that then you've got oh because <laughs> i haven't seen it anywhere so it's a um, constant learning process isn't it it is it's it, we're all evolving and um yeah it's uh, it's just it's, it's good good community yeah, the industry itself. I mean, I've never been part of an industry that's moved so fast. The vape mm. industry moves so damn quick. Yeah, it's one mental, to it? I mean, you go back a few months and it was nothing but squonk mods, and now it's fucking pod systems at the arse. Do you remember and when it was mechanical so squonks fast. every fucking day, yeah. Vic? Like, oh buddy. Fucking God, God I was thinking, here we go, another one. Oh, another fucking mechanical squonker. Another. <laughs> oh, look, look, Tony B. There's Tony B with his 17th mechanical <laughs> pulse squonker. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one goes up to 89 watts. <laughs> <laughs> was it not Bogan that said that when he was in the height of reviewing all his squonk mods, he was like, today I've got another squonk mod, and at this point they're popping up like Harvey Weinstein victims? Oh, yeah. fucking hell, <laughs> really? How do you guys keep motivated though? Because it, it can be a bit samey at times. It's easy yeah. for me. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vic wants to pay the rent. He's got to do it. That's my job. <laughs> I just want to say hello to Mark Mills, who is in chat. Uh, oh, Mark top Mills. dude, he is. It's um, yeah, the community for me personally, it's a community that keeps me motivated because they're always saying what's coming next, and you know they're always commenting. And they're really cool. If I fuck someone up, they will tell me. They're very vocal. And um, it's the community that keeps me motivated personally. I don't know about anyone else here, but it's all about the community. It, For uh, me, it's the community as well. I mean, the, the way I look at it, the expo is my holiday. You wouldn't yeah. think it'd be a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and even, even, even though I'm doing roughly five or six reviews a week, it's like a review every single day. Yeah. The way I do it is actually kind of easy. Monday, no, sorry, the Friday before the next week, I do all the table cam stuff for all four or, four or five of the reviews coming up. That Monday of that same week, the Monday of the same week, that's when I do the B-roll stuff. It's like the zoomy in shit. And then the same day, I do all the final thoughts on the Monday and Tuesday, which means Wednesday and Thursday, I'm just sitting up at the studio watching Doctor Who or Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> That's so me, fine. That's it's fine. all about organization. You organize it well, and you can you can take a few minutes to yourself. It, yeah, that, that sounds ideal, Vic, um, to, to me. Because I must admit, um, Gaz, you work full time, don't you? Do you do a electrician? In that? Yeah, Sparky. Yeah. Um, it is for fucking hell, man. To keep motivated, it is hard work. It is. Yeah. There's plenty of times. I expect Vic would even agree, even though he's doing it full time. There's some times where you'll think, "Fuck me, what am I doing all this for?" Um, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean, you get so tired, like you got to go to work again the next day. You're doing all of that, and then in the evenings, because you have to try and fit it in, uh, like yeah. evenings or weekends. Like, yeah. And you've got families as well. You've got to do shit. You might have to t uh, take someone somewhere. You've got young kids, so you've got to do all of that. You cook, you clean, you have to wash, you have to uh, wash, <laughs> wash. <laughs> you know, what what? I mean, you've got to wash your clothes. Fingernail you washing is the nightmare my life at the minute i haven't got any mate so fucking... it's funny it's funny you mention that because i got i got legit hate because i bite my fingernails and i did a close-up and somebody was like honestly someone was wanting to fight me because i bite my fingernails yeah. I, remember thinking, oh, yeah. I get that a lot as well but it's I... a nightmare especially if, like i'd be at work all day and covered, hands get covered in dirt and dust and whatever else yeah, i'm doing it and then i'm kind of i'm getting the kids to bed doing all that kind of stuff then get in my garage do a bit of my invoicing and quotes and stuff and then i go so you're self-employed as well then are you yeah, yeah 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 and then i go to do a kind of uh, a close-up of a build or something i'm like oh, bollocks my <laughs> I, mean, I may just start doing them in medical no one to be honest sorry 
I might just start wearing marigolds for all my close ups yeah. from now on. Because the comments I get is I've got fingernails like a woman. Because <laughs> I've got I've got really well, in fact, I'll show you. I've You've got, got proper really fingernails, long, haven't you? I've got really long nail beds. That's something that runs in the family here. Hold on. See, that's the thing is that I bite my fingernails, so it looks like my nails have been through a meat grinder. Yeah, half time. mine do as well, uh, Kieran. That's the... yeah, but look how clip they're perfect, Vic. How much time do you spend on them? Do you follow really them as well? Fucking nail beds, and that's you've got fingernails like a woman. Have you got a cousin in there that's doing the table cam stuff for you? That's not your nails. You're getting somebody else to do the table cam stuff because your nails are fucking bogging. That's the kind of fucking comments I get. You should have just said, "I quite like a manicure during the day." To be honest, I've got ten minutes in the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've just got to stick with it, guys. It um, it, it depends how what you want out of it because you be i've since i've been doing it vic vic would agree with me there's been people that have come and gone uh if it lasts a yeah. year and a half that yeah. were yeah. they were people that sort of start out at the same sort of time as me goober's been around for exactly the same time as me and he's still here uh but i've seen fucking lots of them who just sort of disappeared changes yeah. a lot yeah they I've, did about I've four or five months yeah i've, I think, I've spoken I think to a lot I've... of people that started out and they just like you said, it just disappeared after. A See if you go back to the the the, st- the that, restart, man? the restart of the UK vape show after myself and Gwen, who's there, yeah. stopped. Doing it. We got we got Mark, Chris, and Dean. And See the first twenty five episodes. If you go back and watch the first twenty five episodes, half of the new people we brought in, yeah, are not you now. They're gone. Yeah, I yeah. noticed that. It was weird, wasn't it? it was suddenly, like they just fell off the yeah. face of the earth. I said that on your show as well, Vic. Don't I? Is, it, is it a bad omen being on there? But yeah, it's like the kiss of death. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like on I'm there, so a, yeah, I still feel like I'm in a bit of like a honey honeymoon period with it. But and it's it's slowly settling down now, and I kind of got the, things in a routine. So I'm like, yeah. actually, oh, this, is, this is all right. This is um, yeah. You've just got to manage it, mate. To you've yeah, got to yeah. manage your time. You got always, fit, yeah. Fit, like I said, it's all about time management, organisation, work-life like, like, balance, mate. That's the thing. Because I must admit, I have had a couple of wobbles uh, where I've. <laughs> I mean, I was... I've had my channel deleted twice. I had my channel deleted twice last year. Once because I mentioned something to, to do with Subida, which we won't say the words of. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't <laughs> and, mention that. Yeah. Vic knows <laughs> all about that. Oh and yeah. Then, <laughs> and then something before that, someone false flagged all my videos because they were bored, so they just mass flagged all my videos and it wiped the channel. Off the you so what? I, to, I, I went through. I think it was about eighteen days until YouTube finally reinstated all of it. So there's been a few times when, like you said, why am I doing this? What's the point? Yeah. Why am I putting myself through? You know, it, spending like an hour and a half editing the video just to render it for another hour or an hour and a half. Yeah. And then upload it for half an hour and then get all the tags right. And, the yeah, and then do the social media postings. Oh, all exactly, of, it's a fucking yeah. job and half. I don't know if everyone knows that uh, the people that watch them. It is. It's a. It's a proper job. I get a lot of liquid scent. I get a lot of hardware scent, but I can't pay the rent for that. You know, it's not like I can. It's not. It's not no. much of a job. It is my actual job. Yeah. It's Vic's actual job. <laughs> there you go. I know it's my actual job because the fuckers at the HMRC now want tax returns yeah. from me. <laughs> yeah, we fair play though, to... but you've done well uh, since you've done it, haven't you? You have. Yeah. You've actually embraced it basically because you were sort of put into a little corner in the first place, weren't you? The... I was. So I was I th- shoved right yeah. into a corner in the old days. So yeah. I think you've embraced it well. I think you've got your time management right. You're taking breaks when you need to, so you're not burning mm-hmm. yourself out. Well, right? correct me if I'm wrong, Vic, but there's been a couple of times when you stated in videos you were you were literally a ball head away from just deleting everything. Oh, there's been a there was there was yeah. a couple of there was a couple of times in 2016. Yeah. Because I, the, I made it a point in the old days before I became self-employed, I was an employment support allowance. I'm still, I'm still classed as disabled. I'm just mm-hmm. not claiming the benefit now. I'm still on yeah. the SA. And it was like, oh, oh, you don't look disabled. I'm just, I'm going to report you to the Department of Work and Pensions. And it was like almost every month I was being hauled into the job centre for an investigation. It got to the point where they know me by my first name at the local job centre. And now it's like, another report in, Vic, don't worry. We just had to call you in to make it look as if we're investigating. And yeah. it was it was actually Mark, TVP, and Chris that said, Vic, just go self-employed. Just do it. Yeah. Mm. Do it. And I went, you know what? Fuck it, I will. And well, here we are. It's been going well for you, so I'm glad. 
It has. I've rented a studio. I've now rented another <laughs> office next door to the studio so I can just chuck all the empty boxes in there and forget about them. Is, and yes, yeah, it's, it's working out fine for me now. Has it, it got insurance this time though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right, it has. Because I think you had what was it? The what, the fucking ceiling collapse at some point. I remember yeah, the, the first. It was well, the second month I walked in. Yeah, the roof sprung yeah. a leak, and the, the the suspended ceiling just fucking collapsed, and it was like water everywhere. It's a nightmare, absolute nightmare. But uh, yeah, it, it's basically the way I do it, though, guys. I, I still enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, what the fuck's the point in doing it? That, that's yeah, what it comes down to. I, I enjoy the interaction. Uh, if I put up a review, I get a, a, the usual faces pop up and say, great video or whatever. They might comment on something else or other. And it's just nice to know that people, are they appreciate what, what you're fucking doing. That's what it's uh, about. There's no point in doing it if they're not going to appreciate it. And then you get newbies who say, oh, I've watched this uh, video six months old. I thought, fucking hell, I forgot to even put it up. And they said, you've really helped me. And um, and yeah. that's really heartwarming when you've actually think, because you forget about doing the video and then you're still getting views six months later. Yeah. Uh, and it's still helping people out. So that's what does it for me. Uh, like what Vic said about the expo. I see it as a holiday. Lisa doesn't quite see it the same way as me because it's not not her thing. She likes law and uh, her job she really enjoys. For me, this is my thing. I, I don't yeah. particularly enjoy my job, but this is what I enjoy. So uh, mm. when I go to Expo, I meet up the other reviewers, uh, uh, whoever in there, if they're going to come up to. I haven't had many people come up to me because I haven't been big enough to but i'm hoping like when i go this time i might get a few faces that say oh i've watched your reviews and i'm looking forward to it shaking their hand having a beer do you know what i mean yeah. well, see, just... the thing is, it's like when you're as passionate about a subject that you are about vaping and then you go to the expo and you're basically in an entire building filled with people that are just as yeah. passionate as you are yeah. it makes yeah. it all worth it yeah exactly and not everyone's going to understand it <laughs> especially no. your family and people like that but um, oh exactly yeah you know I mean? like lisa's mum and dad are like uh, her mum and that she's like what the fuck are they all doing like what we didn't have this when we used to smoke what are they all fucking puffing on these things <laughs> it cracks me up but it is weird isn't it it is funny when you think about it. like what well, you know you didn't used to get this with cigarettes or anything did you? it's just not like a it's a mental like community really that's developed but it's and great for me, and for me when i walk into expo and somebody walks up to me and says you help me give up smoking that's when you realize it's worth yeah. it yeah yeah right there that's when you realize I, it's worth it. i've not had that in person yet but i have had a lot of people say you help me get off cigarettes or because of your videos i've been like so many months clean off cigarettes and like Vic said it's that's what makes it worth it i haven't had that yet but i've had a couple of friends that have kind of helped and that's been yeah. that's been nice. That's that's been a yeah. That's been a touch. But now the reason I asked was really because um, when I kind of started January, uh, Dean Devil Vapor he's kind of gone a bit quiet. Uh, Adam GB Nations he kind of disappeared and was coming back and disappeared and coming mm. back. Cheers, um, Kieran AVC mate. He's just off. Sorry about that, man. No, it's cheers, Kieran. Um, WG is it WGD? Yeah, GD. Yeah. He disappeared a bit, and then Vix. Vic got robbed, and I was like, "Oh man, what am I joining?" <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, yeah, that's yeah. What's Mark? Mark White said. You find that a lot of reviewers have lost their way and passion when it comes to vaping, like Rip Trippers. He was amazing at the start. Now he looks like he needs to be in a loony bin. Uh -huh. Rip Trappers <laughs> is a cash cow now. Yeah. Rip Trappers, Rip Trappers is a brand and a company. Yeah. He's actually he actually hires marketing staff. That's how big he's got now. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, he is the biggest vape channel. Yeah, you know, one point something like one point four million subscribers he's got now. I the last time I watched the Rip video. I used to watch Rip, Rip, Rip a lot back in like twenty fifteen when I first started vaping. Yeah, because he done he rep done some really good build tutorials yeah. in the early days. That's how I learned Vic, with the stock coil tanks yeah. and that. Mm -hmm. uh, used to re wicking your coils, your pro tank two coils, the mm -hmm. sub tank uh, mini coils, the actual you know the stock coils. That's how I learned from rip trippers using a uh, surgical needle because we used yep. really fine like thirty two gauge wire, 
And it's fucking intricate stuff, because tr- if I had to try and do it now, I wouldn't have a clue, because you've got no build deck or anything. You're literally sort of using, you know, like the bottom of one of these little coils. You're sort of just holding up, and you have to... It's just really hard work. I, I, one of these days, I might actually try and replicate a video of doing it, but I probably won't be able to do it. But uh, he was very um, helpful back in the day. But like you say, now it's just, um, yeah, marketing... Now it's marketing. He yeah. must be making a fucking fortune. Yeah. I don't even want to know. Big stuff. I remember when he sold his tr- he sold his truck. He had an old Ford truck, and he sold it, and he sold it to a viewer, and the viewer ended up paying out the ass, like double the value of what this truck was actually worth, just because. Yeah. Like, Why did he do a review on his BMW? Because it's <laughs> proper. I was, I was thinking, did, did I, I go and review my Ford Transit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, content. Yeah. <laughs> Put it up on your vape channel. Yeah. Why not? This close to the steering wheel as well, wasn't he? <laughs> Chunks back had to kill some zombies on Walking Dead app. But yeah, the, the 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 review scene has changed a lot since I started, and I've I've got to hand it to folks like Flat Cap who are starting now because it's a lot harder to get your name out there these days because there's a lot of reviewers now. Well, that's the yeah. thing that the, that's why uh, I hold the UK Vape Show in such high regard because it's one of the platforms on, on YouTube that gives these people the experience. Yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> well, that's like I said to you, Vic, uh, when I was on, like when I first started reviewing, and you said in one of the one of the weeks on the UK Vape Show, oh, I wouldn't start reviewing if I was starting now. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> no. Yeah, there's a lot to be Thanks, said with that, though. <laughs> that that might be reason why I'm doing things a little. A little. I mean, it's not different to everyone. There's people who are doing the same kind of style as I'm doing, but that's why I'm probably going a different different way to like the traditional, just just to be just to be. Different. Yeah, you're going down the cinema. You're going down mm. the cinematography. I I'm a I'll, I'll be the first one to admit I'm a dinosaur at this. I am still doing it the traditional way. Intro, high, table cam, back up, final thoughts, gone. That's that's been the tried and traditional way of reviewing in the UK since the days of Scott I get you 69 and yeah. the prick in the shed. But the new ones, the new folks like yourself, Flat Cap, they're bringing something new yeah. in. It needed to have like, it as well. Yeah. yeah, People like me, the dinosaurs are looking at <laughs> the ones that are doing all the cinematography stuff and going, you know, you fucking bastard. Yeah. I look at the way Gaz does it and I think I could be fucked in that I'll be honest I could be yeah. fucked in that no, but <laughs> the only reason I do that is because I don't have a clue what I'm talking about so no I think it's good <laughs> when it works it works well when, when you're putting like your mod up and you've got all these arrows going and everything I think yeah, it looks right. fucking awesome yeah. but I'm thinking well that's Gaz's way of doing it I do my way so fuck it uh, if the people, you know, you can't, yeah. you have to adapt in, adapt in a way, but at the end of the day, you can't be too. I know what Vic's saying, you bastard. I'm thinking, fucking hell, that does look good. <laughs> <laughs> but I think people also like you as a person as well. They like to watch your videos, especially yeah. with you, Vic, because you know what I mean? It wouldn't matter what you fucking did, mate. People love you for you. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping there's an element of that about my videos because I'm not going to yeah. be up to flat cap standard uh, of cinematography. I'll, I, I do my best. I do try and little bits here and there, but um, you know I do my thing as well. And I, but I think it's good how you have done that because you have sort of you have found a different element. To, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, I, Lisa, I'm not that old. I'm, I'm, I, I know my way around Sony Vegas Pro. I know how to edit and stuff like that. But the thing is, it's like. I would much rather do it an analog way, like see, obviously black, fat yeah. clap, uh, fat clap. What am I saying? <laughs> uh, don't worry, I've been called cat clap. <laughs> cat clap. Cat yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna get you guys. I was flat pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark Mills. I enjoyed flat caps cotton off there. That was the, a refreshing one. Way. Way. I'll just put the camera on, hold the mod up, and go button, screen, other buttons. Five tens. <laughs> Whereas he's got it, and he's got all these arrows coming in. He's yeah, it. it looks good though, doesn't it? I was it thinking, fucking hell, you little bastard. I know how he does it. That it's just it's tracking and I can do it in the tracking in Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's a lot of fucking hassle. Oh, the tracking! Don't get me started on tracking it, stuff. It, it, do, is though. there a lot of effort involved with that? Bit? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking it's that does look like it's going to take a lot of time to do. So that's the thing. Respect to you, uh, Flatback Cat, for finding the time to get that in your videos. It's fucking. Well, yeah. I've got a bit of a design background, so um, that kind of helps. But yeah. I'm, another mm. reason, another reason why I've probably gone down that route is because I'm really forgetful, and 
I always, <laughs> I know people say we all do, but I forget to mention so much stuff in my video. So I think if I, if I do all the kind of sizes of the, of the mod and all that kind of jazz, then I don't have to mention it. And I've got these little, I'll show you, I've got these little, good idea, to be honest. these little cards that I use oh, yeah. upside down. These little cards to remind me what to talk about. Are they laminated <laughs> as well? Well, I was, <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, flat cap. See at the beginning, I done that. A bullet point list of what to actually talk about. Yep. Yeah, because I forget. I, just I forget. did as well, Vic. Uh, to be honest, I think we all did. Yeah, uh, RTA. And, yep. And now I probably just miss everything instead. <laughs> that, that'd, be, that'd be used on yours, Vic. On the Kelpie, you'll see that. Yep. <laughs> But I mean, the the only new thing I did was the was the time code thing that you see in my videos, the little oh, blue I thing. Like that. I that. Actually, yeah, and yeah, the like split that. screen looks good as well. That you well, yeah. the, the angled split screen good. for the yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, there's only so far we can all go. Like we, everyone's going to copy bits and bobs from each other. But I I don't know what's next. So someone else going to come up with another way of reviewing? You know. No, it's good, and I just want to say, while Flat Cap is in here, he wasn't due on till next week. But if someone can put his link in chat, go give him a sub. He is flying. This guy is. He's gone way over six hundred now. He deserves uh, it. He deserves and he's every one of them. getting oh, thanks, views guys. and subs every day. Um, so, and he's fully deserved of, of them as well. Ah, oh, cheers, Mike. Yeah, no worries, Mike. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a. Uh, Heavy learning curve, but like I said, I'm just having fun with it. That's the main thing. But that's why I wanted to on this show because I was thinking because Vic's been doing it for ages, been getting new reviews on and stuff. And I, I have to say, Paul, I thought well, I could do with some guests on here, and I do like supporting new reviewers. I always have done. I always shout them out when I do my lives, and I just thought this is good because we can you can get a bit more talking going as well. I'm not saying anything against the UK vape show, but it is quite hard sometimes to. To get your word in edgeways, isn't it? Yeah, especially when Mark starts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I just thought it'd be nice to get a few new reviews. We've got Scots, we've got Flat Cap. Uh, I see the Pud on last week. That was good. Uh, yeah, Pud. Yeah, I keep calling him Pud. Why do I call him Pud? Yeah, I noticed that. Pud. 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 I'm calling him Pud Puffs. Pud Puffs. Pud Puffs. Puff. 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 I just see it as Puff. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah no it's been good so yeah nice to see you on tonight guys but we are going to wrap it up very soon because it's one o'clock in the morning so uh, hell, is it one? Could you yeah. just one in the morning yeah we've we got to take frank to work tomorrow I'm like, Steps Damn, I did work, thank, so. fuck I, thank fuck I'm not doing the what's up tomorrow I'd look like fucking death <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, I think we'll do that, guys. Uh, it has been good, but I must. I'm gonna. I've got to pack all this shit up. That takes me an hour. Like Vic would um, fucking remember when he used to have to do that as well. Oh yeah, when I used to have when I used to have to do that, do all the reviews in this fucking room. It was a nightmare well, in this exactly. room. That's yeah. the studio. Lisa's out there. She can't go to bed until I fucked off from here. So. <laughs> 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 so um but anyway yeah thanks everyone for, for watching uh we'll do a quick uh goodbye from everyone if you like we'll go on to vic first oh thanks no pressure then <laughs> uh, thanks thanks for watching people uh don't forget buy the kelpie buy the kelpie <laughs> the kelpie you shall buy yes you will buy the kelpie and if you are going to the expo i will see you there again I'll speak for Mike and I'll speak for everyone that's going, that's got all yeah. the reviewers from the UK that are going to the expo. Don't be scared to walk up and say hello to us. Unless we're eating. There's the <laughs> caveat, right? If I'm sitting eating, don't walk up and disturb me because I'll probably bite your head off. But if you're seen as walking around, sitting at the bar, don't be scared to walk up and say yeah. hello because the, the whole point of expo is, is for the reviewers to meet the subscribers and the subscribers to meet the reviewers. So don't be scared to walk up and say hello to us. Simple as that. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, cheers, Vic. It's been Bye really, really good uh, having you on, brother. And everyone in chat, everyone who's in here, if you could just drop them a little sub, that'd be awesome. Uh, including I'm Vic. a struggling reviewer. Yeah, Vic could do with a, yeah, a bit of a bump up. He's uh, got a bit of a plateau going on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Technically... It's a Sunday. <laughs> it's a Sunday. Yes, it fucking, yes, it fucking is. is. <laughs> so who should we pick on next? Uh, I'm going to leave you to lastly for us. All right, buddy. So we're going to go to Mr. Goober Vapes.
been a little bit oh, quiet the last exactly. hour or so, but it's running all day in New York. No, uh, thanks for having me on again, Vic. Nice to see you coming on, Flat Cat Scott. Of course, Lethal as always. Thank you for everybody in chat and anybody who subs, and have a happy Easter. Cheers, Goober. Thank you very much, buddy. Right on to Mr. Scott's review. Uh, thanks everyone in chat. Yeah, that's all I can say. Thanks everyone for coming out and uh, put messages in the chat and giving us something to talk about. And thanks to Mike for for having having me on. Like I said, I was supposed no to be on, but then I said I couldn't come on, and then it, he was still accommodating and still had me on. So a uh, huge thanks to Mike and uh, uh, Goober, Flat Cap, Lethal, Vic. Uh, thank you uh, for being so nice. So yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks very much, mate. And then on to Flat Cap. It's been a brief one, but you've still got a good hour's worth there, mate. So yeah, yeah. it's been a good yeah, little no, chat we've had. Some, yeah, a bit last minute dot com. Well, yeah, no, cheers for yeah. cheers for having us on. Sorry about the uh, messages and that, but um, yeah, no, thanks everyone in the chat. It's um, it's nice to jump on, and it's obviously nice to speak to you guys. I haven't apart from Vic, I haven't spoken to you before, before, so it's nice to come on and say hello yeah. and kind of get to know everyone. So thanks, thanks very much, and have a good Easter, everyone. No problem. And uh, Flat Cap will be on next Saturday as well, won't you, mate? So he's yeah, a special. Yeah, beers after that. Yeah, special guest next Saturday, guys. So yeah, looking forward to that, mate. And uh, right, uh, lastly, we'll have a bit of uh, Mr. Lethal Coils, please. Hey guys, thank you very much for joining us for the show tonight. Everybody in chat, all the spanners, nice hard work that you guys have put in. Love seeing that. Thank you guys, uh, Scotch Review, Flat Cap Vapor. Awesome to meet you guys. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Bye. <laughs> what about the negativity bit? And what... Should I? Uh, <laughs> all right. Come on, uh, we love it. Remember, please remember that you're the masters of your own destinies. You're the only ones in this world that can pick and choose how positive or negative your days are ever going to be. So please remember to keep the positivity high, keep the smiles on your face, and let that negative just brush off your shoulders. Love you. Yay! Thank you very much, Lethal. Right. Always good to have you on, brother. Right, guys, that, that is it. Everyone in <coughs> chat, all of the spanners, you've done a great job tonight. Uh, big thanks to Vic, uh, to Scott, fucking Kieran, his name is. Uh, we've got <laughs> Gooba, Flat Cap. I never know everyone's name. It's Gaz, Flat Cap. We've got Chris, <laughs> Lethal Calls as well. If you could all drop him a little sub, it would be awesome. Uh, really enjoyed tonight guys it's been great so have a great easter day tomorrow or today i should say and i'll see you again very soon so see yeah. you all later yeah. guys thanks very much again bye, bye. 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 bye.